Welcome to the fantasy audiobook. Villain. My strength depends entirely on the imagination of the heroine. Chapter 1. Young Master. Young Master, use your strength. I'm already working hard, then why don't I feel anything? I'm the only one moving. Quote dot 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 quote. In front of the demon gate's bedroom. A 16 or 17 year old girl with two buns on her head pouted and pulled a hemp rope on her back. Behind the hemp rope is a large box. A large box about two meters long is like a coffin. The girl's delicate body pulled the heavy coffin and moved more slowly than a snail, and she was already dripping with sweat. She was so tired that she finally turned around. Then it was discovered that Ling Shui was standing behind the box. Not to mention using force, he didn't even touch the big box. Just like this, with his hands behind his back, he looked at her quietly. Young master, you are too much. You didn't push at all, no wonder I'm so tired. The girl pouted immediately, with an aggrieved look on her face. Those big eyes stared at Ling Shui. Dressed in white clothes, with long snow white hair, with a few strands of red hair fluttering in the wind. He also has blood red eyes. From top to bottom, exuding a noble and indifferent aura. No matter what the circumstances, the young master of his family always looks so personable, noble and handsome. Xiao Xiao, I always believe that you are an ordinary person, maybe, that you just lack a chance to break through your physical limit. Ling Shui, known as the young master, had a faint smile on his lips. When she saw the smile on the corner of Ling Shui's mouth, Xiao Xiao felt as if she had been beaten to death. Hum, she nodded again and again, continued to pull the big box, and headed towards the bedroom. Hey, hey, hey. After Xiao Xiao exerted all her mighty strength, she finally pulled the heavy box into the bedroom. Ha, young master, what's in it? Xiao Xiao sat down on the chair directly, hugging the teapot next to her and taking a big sip. Today Ling Shui said that she had a hard job to do, so she went out together. As a result, such a big box was pulled back. Ling Shui didn't speak, just stepped forward and opened the big box. Lying inside was a woman. A woman as delicate as a jade carving. This woman looks about the same age as Ling Shui. Very young, about 20. Her skin was as white and tender as jade, her nose was straight, and between her eyebrows and eyes, there was an inherent nobility and desolation. A head of snow white long hair, as white as the clothes on his body. Snow white without the slightest blemish. At first glance, this snow whiteness even looks like a layer of white glow emanating from her body. Snow white as jade, exquisite and flawless. Like a fairy in the sky, she has the spirit of a fairy in the sky. When she saw this desolate and jade-like beauty, Xiao Xiao suddenly froze, female, female. She never expected that what was contained in this big box would be a woman. And still such a beautiful sleeping beauty. Wu. Her eyes immediately turned red. Young master, if you want to, it's not impossible for me. Do I need to find another woman? I have been busy for a long time, but I just brought back a woman for the young master. Why bring it? Compete with yourself. By the way, this elder sister is really beautiful, and she also has white hair, she is a good match for the young master. Thinking of this, Xiao Xiao's eyes turned red again. It's over, it's over, with such a beautiful sister by my side in the future, the young master will definitely not want to be himself. Ling Shui didn't care about Xiao Xiao's rich expressions and psychological changes at this time. He just looked at the white-haired woman who was as white as jade in the box, with a faint smile on the corner of her mouth. He is actually a time traveler, traveling to this fantasy world, and, still a villain. The young master of the demon sect. In this fantasy world, in the original book, Momin was once the well-deserved top overlord. It's just that a few years ago, after his father's death, the demon sect broke up without a bang, and plummeted. Of course, the position of demon lord was undoubtedly passed on to Ling Shui. But Ling Shui in the original book has no cultivation at all. To put it bluntly, congenital waste body. All aspects of appearance, temperament and personality are very in line with the identity of the young master of the demon sect. It's a pity that he was congenitally disabled, but he had no cultivation base. Therefore, although the position of demon lord has been passed on to him, in fact he has not yet claimed to be the demon lord. The various branch forces under the demon sect have not recognized Ling Shui as the demon lord of the demon sect at all. 
Of course, there are also many people looking forward to Ling Shui being able to unify the demon sect and restore the former prosperity of the demon sect. Including Ling Shui himself thinks so. It's a pity, there is no way, he is a congenital waste body. He simply doesn't have the ability to revive the demon sect. As a result, the entire demon gate became more and more lazy and dilapidated. Ling Shui also hopes that he can have the ability to revive the demon sect. He even once wondered if there was something wrong with his body. Like being left with a seal or something. Otherwise, there is no reason why his father was once the ceiling of combat power, but he is a congenital waste, right? But it's a pity, it's really a congenital waste body. Ling Shui also put her hopes on this little girl. After all, before his father died, he had ordered this girl to be his personal maid. Ling Shui thought that there was some special connection between this girl and him. But all these years have passed, and there is still nothing. Like him, Xiao Xiao is actually a congenital waste. This is very depressing. In the original book, Ling Shui finally found a way to change her congenital waste body. He has gone through hardships, spilled blood on the battlefield, put in countless sweats and efforts, and finally embarked on the road of the strong with difficulty. But in the end, he still lost to the lucky protagonist. The main character in the original book is an idiot who laughs and plays around all day long. As a time traveler, Ling Shui has certainly read a lot of online novels. There are two kinds of protagonists in the novel. One is the protagonist who is full of righteousness. Cultivate one's morality, regulate one's family, govern the country and the world, establish one's heart for the world, one's life for the people, inherit the sacred knowledge of the past, and create peace for all generations. Such a protagonist is well deserved to be called the protagonist. Moreover, such protagonists often appear in some in-depth web novels. But the protagonist in another kind of brainless cool novel is a pure idiot. Playing around, laughing and joking, he can't walk when he sees a woman, like a boar. The whole gang of ruffians has no sense of responsibility, no self-cultivation, and no temperament that a protagonist should have. Unfortunately, the protagonist in the original book that Ling Shui travels through is the second type. It's just this kind of stupid thing in a purely brainless and refreshing article. This made Ling Shui very upset. Lao Su is a villain, a villain who has put in countless efforts, step by step, must have a strategy, and needs strength and strength. In the end, he lost to a joker who was nothing. To be honest, if the protagonist is the kind of righteous protagonist, Ling Shui doesn't even mind turning enemies into friends. But if it's that kind of pure brain dead thing, then I'm sorry, I will kill you as soon as possible. Of course, it is impossible for Ling Shui, who has traveled over here, to make the things in the original book of the brain damaged happen. Of course you can't follow the original route. But to change everything in the original work, there is only one breakthrough. Mistress the number one heroine, that is the woman lying in the box now, Yun Luoxi. There are a group of heroines in the original book. Two of them are the most special. A big heroine, a little heroine. The heroine is the one in front of her. And the little heroine is the protagonist's childhood sweetheart, who has been attached to the protagonist since she was a child, and has been clamoring to marry the protagonist since she was a child. To be honest, the little heroine is already the protagonist inside and out, and she is a brainless existence with the protagonist. In the original book, she finally married the protagonist and gave birth to the protagonist. But this young Luoxi in front of her is different. This is the goddess who the protagonist of the original book has been chasing for a lifetime, even in the finale. It is the white moonlight of the protagonist's life, an existence that he has never been able to get in his life. Both body and mind have never been obtained. Moreover, she has a very big secret. A very heaven-defying ability. Except for Ling Shui who has read the original work, no one knows about this ability. Even Yun Luoxi herself didn't know. That heaven-defying ability is, as long as any man gets her, from now on, how powerful that man is in her mind will be, how powerful that man will be in reality. That is to say, regardless of all cultivation and obstacles, Yun Luoxi thinks that man is as strong as he is. For example, if Ling Shui gets Yun Luoxi, then if Yun Luoxi thinks that Ling Shui has supreme cultivation, Ling Shui will really have supreme cultivation. To put it bluntly, as long as you get her, you will be as strong as she imagines you to be. 
and it is limited to the front, and only up and down. Of course, the premise is that she really thinks, really believes that there is such a thing, and not just imagining it. In other words, let her believe it. This kind of super-defying ability to ignore all rules, even if it is placed in the fantasy world, it is quite a sci-fi existence. Ling Shui has read the original book, but she doesn't know where her incredible ability comes from. The original book is not well written. In the original book, no one has her ability at all. After all, for this woman, from the beginning to the end, no man, let alone get her, has never even touched her hand. This is a rather unusual heroine, and one of the most likable characters in the original book. Therefore, Ling Shui brought Yun Luoxi here. Having her is equivalent to having everything. As long as you get her, in the future, just guide her to imagine her own strength. Today, of course, I want her to help me take the first step. Get rid of this congenital waste body, and, obtain the highest cultivation base possible. And Ling Shui, had already planned everything. Young master, why did we bring this woman back? At this time, Xiao Xiao said aggrieved again. If the young master wants her to be the young master's wife, then, will the young master not want me from now on? Ling Shui didn't speak, and turned around and walked outside. Young master, young master, please explain clearly. What exactly are you going to bring her back for? What is the relationship between her and you? Xiao Xiao quickly chased after him. Keep asking. It's a pity that Ling Shui didn't answer her question at all. The two walked in front of the magic gate. In the past, the demon sect was extremely prosperous, with thousands of troops and horses coming and going at any time, mighty and mighty. But now, there are not many people in the entire demon gate, and it is extremely deserted. Whether or not the demon sect can be revived is entirely in the hands of Ling Shui. Not long after, Ling Shui came to a place with the frisky little one. A very quiet place. Here is a cliff, on the edge of the cliff, the spiritual mist is lingering, like a fairyland. On the very edge of the cliff, on a rock, sat a beautiful figure. It was a woman in a green dress. An elegant green long dress, as if blending with the nature of heaven and earth. There are also a few aura butterflies dancing around, which is too beautiful to behold. This person is the top powerhouse of demon sect, once one of Ling Shui's father's capable generals. Shaoshang Rain. Now, with the decline of the demon sect, she has been staying in the demon sect to clean up. There are still many top powerhouses like her scattered around the world. Although everyone is in a state of disunity, they are actually looking forward to someone who can relead the demon sect. That person is of course Ling Shui. It's a pity that what Ling Shui showed was indeed congenital waste. So gradually, of course, everyone can't see the light, can't see the hope. So they were all lazy and gave up on themselves. Although Ling Shui is the young master of the demon sect, he can't call these people. It is of course impossible to treat them like slaves. For example, serving tea and pouring water, and going to the box. These trivial matters, except for Ling Shui's orders to Xiao Xiao, no one else can shout. Of course, if there is something really important, they generally don't refuse it. It's just that so far, nothing important has happened. Little Lord, when she sensed Ling Shui's arrival, Xiao Shangyu gave a faint cry. The voice is soft and pleasant. Although Ling Shui does not have the ability to revive the demon sect, he is the young master of the demon sect after all. He is the future demon lord. Therefore, she still has some respect for Ling Shui after all. She can also be regarded as the one who respects Ling Shui the most among the former group of demon sect powerhouses. Ling Shui walked up slowly, walked to Xiao Shangyu's side, and said slowly, help me with something. What's the important thing, young master? Xiao Shangyu didn't look back, and still sat cross-legged on the same spot. Let me have the same cultivation as you. Ling Shui said flatly. As soon as these words came out, Xiao Shangyu was startled. Then he smiled bitterly. If today's young master can have my level of cultivation, how difficult is it to revitalize the demon sect? The demon lord back then was also Ling Shui's father. When he was Ling Shui's age, he didn't have such a cultivation level. The realm of cultivation is divided into ten realms of spiritual martial arts to ten realms of extreme martial arts. In the middle is the realm of the earth, the realm of the sky, and the realm of the gods. Three realms. These three realms are also called 
Earth Spirit Realm, Sky Profound Realm, and Divine Origin Realm. Back then, Ling Shui's father was, of course, the existence of the Tenth Realm of Extreme Martial Arts. But now Xiao Shang Yu's realm is the Divine Origin Realm. She has lived for an unknown number of years before she can cultivate now. If Ling Shui had such cultivation at the age of 20, wouldn't he be a more monstrous existence than his father? After all, when Ling Shui's father was 20 years old, he was only at the Sky Profound Realm. This kind of busyness, the young master is a bit embarrassing. Xiao Shangyu continued with a wry smile. Then, let me have the cultivation base of the Shenyuan realm even for a moment. Ling Shui then said slowly, just treat it as a life-saving card, so it should be possible, right? As soon as these words came out, Xiao Shangyu understood. What Ling Shui wants is a life-saving card that can be used at critical moments. It's not difficult, Xiao Shangyu then stood up. Turn around and raise your palm to slap Ling Shui's chest. Immediately, a vigorous aura poured into Ling Shui's chest. Oh leave this power in your body, and at critical moments, you can deliver a blow comparable to that of the Divine Origin Realm. Xiao Shangyu continued. But, only once. Only for a moment, unless it is absolutely necessary, don't waste it. A faint smile curled up on the corner of Ling Shui's mouth, thank you. Thank you for what? Xiao Shangyu sighed a long time, looked into the distance with her beautiful eyes, and then murmured, we can do for you, that's all. Once, they promised to assist Ling Shui to become the new demon lord. Unfortunately, none of them did. Because, a young master who was congenitally disabled, really couldn't help her up. They can only take one step at a time, and what they can do is nothing. Many people have even left the magic gate. But she, she will always stay in Momen, and always stay by Ling Shui's side. You can do a lot for me. Ling Shui smiled faintly, and continued. By the way, I haven't seen you for a while, you seem to be a lot prettier again. He he, Xiao Shangyu looked sideways at Ling Shui, you just coax me in a glib way. There was a faint smile on the corner of Ling Shui's mouth, and his blood-red eyes were also looking into the distance. Then he said lightly, others. I will let them come back on their own initiative. Hearing this, Xiao Shang Yuliu's eyebrows moved slightly. At this moment, she seemed to see something in Ling Shui's eyes that she had never seen before. Some things that people can't see through. Immediately afterwards, Ling Shui looked away. After smiling at Xiao Shang Yu, he turned and left. Little Lord, Xiao Xiao hurriedly followed, and asked curiously, Then young master, have I become more beautiful? Well, you are beautiful every day, Ling Shui said perfunctorily. Xiao Shangyu looked at Ling Shui's leaving back, and only looked away after a while. Bring back those who left the magic gate. Can he really have this ability? Can we really see, the revival of the demon sect? Dot dot dot. Ling Shui went all the way back to the bedroom. Then he said to the little novel, wait outside, don't come in. Ah I, a grievance suddenly appeared on the little face. Sure enough. Sure enough, it's not good for the young master to bring a woman back. Why don't you let yourself in? Why, can't even look at it? Besides, if the young master has an idea, you can also add yourself. Two at a time, shouldn't the young master be happier? Xiao Xiao stood outside alone and became depressed. In the bedroom, after Ling Shui came in, he looked at young Luoxi in the box. Looking at this woman in white clothes and white hair, her whole body is like a white jade fairy. This deserted woman was so cold that even the protagonist in the original novel didn't shake her in the slightest. Also, for a woman like her, who in the original book is worthy of her? Yes, of course it is, me. The corners of Ling Shui's mouth curled up. From any angle, this woman, today, is determined. While wanting her, he also wanted his own cultivation to skyrocket a big step first. At this moment, Yun Luoxi in the box finally woke up. Those penetrating and indifferent beautiful eyes slowly opened. The next moment, she sensed something was wrong, and planned to take some action immediately. But I found that I couldn't use any strength at all, not even the strength to raise my hand. Don't struggle, you were interrupted during your retreat, and your aura is blowing back, you won't be able to use much strength in a short time. At this time, Ling Shui's voice sounded. Young Luoxi's cold and beautiful eyes immediately looked at Ling Shui, and then her pretty face changed. Ling Shui, the young master of the demon sect. 
What happened? How could I be here? When you were retreating, I interrupted you, so you fell into a coma, and I brought you back. Ling Shui smiled lightly. What you up to? Young Luoxi stared at Ling Shui with a sullen and pretty face. Before coming here, she was indeed retreating. It's just that the place where she retreats is extremely secret, how does this Ling Shui know? He is the young master of the demon sect, although everyone says he is a congenital waste body without cultivation. But he is the young master of the demon sect after all. If it falls into his hands, I'm afraid nothing good will happen. I'm just one step away now, and I'm one step away from unlocking the restrictions in my body. There was a faint smile on the corner of Ling Shui's mouth, and you are my last step. While speaking, Ling Shui directly stretched out his hand and carried Yun Luoxi out of the box. The white-clothed and white-haired fairy who is as fragrant and soft as jade is held in her arms, not heavy. There is even a light and agile feeling. A sense of casual pose. Also has a light body fragrance. What the hell do you want to do? Yun Luoxi's delicate and jade-like face suddenly showed a panic. What did he bring himself here for? What limitations are there in him? What about yourself? There is always a seal in my body. Ling Shui began to fabricate lies. Everyone thinks I'm a congenital waste, but in fact, it's just the ghost of that seal. As long as the seal is removed, my strength will be restored, and I will be able to directly reach the divine origin realm. Over the years, I have been looking for a way to lift the seal. I have applied all the pills and secrets needed to lift the seal. Now, dot the only thing missing is a perfect woman, and that is you. There was a smile on the corner of Ling Shui's mouth while speaking. Of course this is all fabricated. But after getting her, she immediately thought that she had the cultivation base of the divine origin realm. Moreover, he firmly believes that he has the cultivation base of the Shenyuan realm and that he is actually endowed with extraordinary talents. In that way, I can take a big step forward. Directly from the congenital waste body to the divine origin realm. And hearing Ling Shui's words, Yun Luoxi frowned tightly. Divine origin realm, how strong is this guy himself? How can it be? Even she, known as the saint of the sect, now only has the cultivation level of the earth spirit realm. Her master, that is, the head of the sect she belongs to, is barely in the divine origin realm. Ling Shui is a 20-year-old Shenyuanjing, if it is true, then it is too scary, right? And, what does this have to do with me? He needs a perfect woman, why must it be him? So, what do you want to do? Young Luoxi's voice followed. Since you can think of such a thing, you don't have to ask. Ling Shui sneered. While speaking, he gently placed Young Luoxi on the bed. There are so many women in the world. As the young master of the demon sect, as long as you say a word, how many women will volunteer themselves? Young Luoxi gritted her teeth and said coldly, why do you insist on looking for me? Because, I don't like those ordinary girls, I just like you. Ling Shui sneered. This is a half-truth. He actually didn't like other women either. While speaking, Ling Shui's hand was already on Yun Luoxi's body. Yun Luoxi's pupils shrank suddenly, her pretty face was full of panic. Ling Shui, don't mess around. Don't touch me. Ling Shui has no intention of stopping at all. Ling Shui, stop it. If you really dare to act recklessly, I can't spare you. Yun Luoxi continued to warn, her voice becoming more and more flustered. Ling Shui just sneered, and gently rested her delicate white chin with her palm. If you can tell me a reason why I don't dare, maybe I really don't dare. Yun Luoxi stared at Ling Shui's face that was close at hand. But he couldn't say a word. Because, Ling Shui really has no reason not to dare. He is the young master of the demon sect, what is he not afraid of? The next moment, Yun Luoxi felt that Ling Shui's hand had already untied her clothes. She wanted to struggle, but unfortunately, she was forcibly interrupted just now, and she really couldn't exert any strength. Now, he can only be slaughtered by Ling Shui. At this time, Xiao Xiao was pacing back and forth outside. She really wanted to rush in and see what Ling Shui and Yun Luoxi were doing. If you are really doing something, then join yourself, I don't believe that the young master will refuse. But she dare not, she would never disobey what Ling Shui said. So, she just stayed outside and continued to wait. Dot dot dot, Yun Luoxi couldn't use any strength at all at this moment. 
Biting her pink lips lightly, she just stared at Ling Shui's handsome face so close at hand. The long snow-white hair of the two of them was already intertwined and stacked together. Tears welled up in her eyes, but her aggressive temper did not make her tears fall. Young Luoxi's resolute appearance biting her red lips made Ling Shui even more interested, you don't seem to be so resistant. Disgusting, you, um. Young Luoxi wanted to speak, but her mouth was suddenly blocked. Ling Shui has already kissed her directly. Young Luoxi's pupils shrank suddenly, and his whole body was controlled by him. No matter how hard the mouth is, it is still soft when kissed. After a kiss, Ling Shui looked at her with a smile on the corner of his mouth. Young Luoxi's pretty face was blushing. At this moment, she was completely helpless, neither was it to resist, nor was it not to resist. You can only be in this complicated and delicate struggle. After a long time, Ling Shui finally ended everything. Young Luoxi still hadn't regained her strength at this time. Still staring at Ling Shui like this, with that kind of resentment and anger in his eyes. Ling Shui just smiled faintly, got dressed and stood up. Then he lightly possessed her body again, looking at Young Luoxi, how about, why don't you just stay and be my woman? To be honest, he likes and is very satisfied with Young Luoxi. Don't even think about it. At this moment, Young Luoxi stared at Ling Shui firmly. With that appearance, I can't wait to tear Ling Shui into pieces. It's a pity that now she has no strength at all, and she can't even stand up. Otherwise, she must do it. Ling Shui ignored the impotent and furious young Luoxi. He just smiled and propped himself up, and slowly raised his palm, thank you. Finally let me lift the seal. After saying that, he just slowly raised his palm. Immediately, a surge of blood-red monstrous spiritual power crazily gathered on his palm. That was exactly the power of the divine origin realm that Kai Shaoshangyu left in his body just now. Can only be used once. And Ling Shui will now exchange this time for eternity. The next moment, he suddenly raised his hand and slapped it backwards. Boom! Immediately, a vast blood-colored palm print suddenly burst out, directly smashing the walls of the entire gorgeous bedroom. After the palm print shattered the wall, its power remained undiminished. It shot out all the way, passed through the clouds, and directly smashed a towering mountain in the distance into pieces. There was a loud explosion, smoke rose everywhere, and gravel flew randomly. At this time, Xiao Shangyu who was sitting cross-legged on the cliff not far away suddenly frowned, What am I? The life-saving hole card that my mother gave you, why the hell are you using it in your own home? My old lady just gave it to you. Am I mistaken, is it possible that you can still encounter deadly threats in your own home? What is it? What the hell is Ling Shui doing? At this time, in the bedroom that had been shattered by the bombardment. Young Luoxi, who was lying on the bed, widened her eyes, staring at Ling Shui's slap. This blow undoubtedly proved Ling Shui's current strength. He was really, really in the divine origin realm. And now, the cultivation base has been restored. This is a big deal. As the young master of the demon sect, if he is actually a talented evildoer, then the demon sect will definitely be revived. Possibly even tougher than ever. At this moment, she had to believe that everything Ling Shui said was true. Ling Shui is a woman who is short of a perfect body, so she can recover her strength. And she became the last key for Ling Shui to recover her strength. Now, Ling Shui has achieved his goal. The cultivation base has been restored. The palm of Ling Shui just now is the best proof. And at the moment when she had this thought, Ling Shui could only feel a vast power surge out of the invisible within her body. At this moment, he has reached the realm of a top powerhouse from his original congenital waste body, from his original no cultivation base at all. Divine Origin Realm. Hiss. Ling Shui immediately raised her head and took a deep breath. Cool. So cool, sure enough, I didn't waste my preparations. After this operation, the woman was convinced that she was really sealed. I also firmly believe that I have unlocked the seal now. Divine Origin Realm, the combat power of a top powerhouse. How many people have practiced a realm that they can't reach in their entire lives, and they say they have it? Young Luoxi's ability is really against heaven. Totally unreasonable. It's too perverted. I don't know who she is, why she can have such a super ability linked to her consciousness as long as she is obtained. 
Her real life experience was not well explained in the original book. That special congenital white hair, like himself, is definitely not simple. Immediately Ling Shui struck while the iron was hot. Now that my cultivation has recovered, within the divine origin realm, I am invincible. Yun Luoxi, who was lying on the bed, looked at Ling Shui's proud face. At this moment, she had to believe that what Ling Shui said now was true. In this case, as long as what Ling Shui said is not particularly exaggerated, she will basically think it is true. So, of course she thinks that Ling Shui is invincible in the same realm. And the moment she had this idea, Ling Shui suddenly felt a great change in her body. Although the realm has not improved, but in all aspects, it is much stronger than the previous moment. Now, he is not only in the Divine Origin Realm. And within the Divine Origin Realm, he is invincible. Ling Shui continued to strike while the iron was hot. Back then, my father deliberately planted a seal in my body, just to make my already extreme talent even stronger. Now that I have directly broken through to the Divine Origin Realm, it is not in vain for all these years of forbearance. Yun Luoxi stared at Ling Shui. She had to believe that Ling Shui was actually an eternal monster. After all, reality is in front of us. A 20-year-old Shen Yuanjing, it seems that such a person has never appeared in history, right? So, he was indeed forbearing all the time. He is not a good-for-nothing young master of the demon sect as everyone says. And the moment Yun Luoxi had this thought, Shui felt as if his blood vessels had been opened up and instantly activated. At this moment, his sensitivity to the aura of heaven and earth has instantly increased countless times. His cultivation talent has already surpassed all the people in history that Yun Luoxi knew. There was a smile on the corner of Ling Shui's mouth again, this feeling was refreshing from head to toe. It can be said that it is as cool as when I pressed Yun Luoxi before. With the strength, there is also the talent. Such a wave of fat is simply joyful. Devil, return my beloved apprentice. At this moment, an angry voice suddenly came from outside. Master, Yun Luoxi, who was lying on the bed, suddenly changed expression. She could tell that the voice was her master coming. That old lady finally found out that you were carried away by me. Ling Shui looked at Yun Luoxi, then smiled and said, it's a pity, she came late. Yun Luoxi stared at Ling Shui without saying a word. She just swears in her heart at this moment. This life and Ling Shui are irreconcilable. Sooner or later, he will be torn to pieces. Immediately afterwards, Ling Shui directly hugged Yun Luoxi. What are you doing? Yun Luoxi frowned suddenly. Since I have already borrowed it, of course I will return you. Ling Shui smiled faintly. You, can't you get me dressed first? Yun Luoxi said angrily. This fool, did he do it on purpose? I'm not wearing anything now, so you just wrapped me in a quilt and carried me out. If others saw it, wouldn't I lose all my innocence? Unexpectedly, the corner of Ling Shui's mouth curled up into a smirk, trouble. It is to let the whole world know that you are my woman. Also let that idiot protagonist know that you are my woman. If the protagonist knew about this, would he die of anger? After saying that, Ling Shui actually walked out with Yun Luoxi in his arms. Ling Shui, let me go, get dressed for me. Yun Luoxi struggled and growled. Unfortunately, useless, Ling Shui carried her out just like that. At this time, Xiao Xiao was still standing outside. When she saw Yun Luoxi who was carried out by Ling Shui, when she saw Yun Luoxi who was wrapped in a quilt and exposed her snow white shoulders, she knew that what should happen has already happened. Immediately, her eye circles turned red. Woo woo woo. Sure enough, sure enough, the young master just likes this woman. Sure enough, the young master has already favored this woman. What should I do? Will the young master no longer want himself anymore? By the way, why hasn't the young master touched himself all this time? Is it because you are too young? Wouldn't it be better to be smaller? You, what did you do to my apprentice? At this moment, there was a loud shout from above the sky. I saw a burst of streamer coming, stopping above the high sky. It was a luxurious woman in a golden dress. It is also Yun Luoxi's master, the suzerain of Lingxu sect. Lu Wenwan, a top powerhouse in the divine origin realm. Master, at this time, Yun Luoxi, who was held in Ling Shui's arms, also looked at Lu Wenwan with powerless and ashamed eyes. 
not to mention being played by others, but still so blatantly hugging her out. What a shame. Asshole. Asshole. When Lu Wenwan saw Yun Luoxi, her expression turned cold instantly, and her furious voice resounded through the sky. Of course she could see that her lover had already lost her virginity. Originally, Yun Luoxi was in retreat, but she suddenly found that Yun Luoxi was gone. After some investigation, it was discovered that it was at the magic gate. She has arrived at full speed, but unfortunately, it is still too late. It was still defiled by the demon head of the demon sect. This sect killed you. The next moment, Lu Wenwan just waved her sleeves, and a stream of sword flow burst out towards Ling Shui below. Swish. But at this moment, a ghostly green shadow shot over. On the palm of the hand, the dark green aura condensed crazily, turning into a light shield, blocking Lu Wenwan's sword. Sect master of the Lingshu sect, not to mention trespassing on my demon sect, but you still want to kill my demon sect young master. The person who shot was Xiaoshangyu. Usually she doesn't make a move, and neither does the people from their demon sect. But if someone wants to touch their young master, then the entire demon sect, which is now in disarray, must join hands to protect Ling Shui. After all, Ling Shui is also the young master of the demon sect. I can't tolerate others saying kill and kill. Take a good look at what good things the young masters of your demon sect have done. Lu Wenwan scolded angrily. If he doesn't pay the price today, our Ling Shu sect will not give up. Ordinary little things, if you can bear it, you can bear it. After all, he is the young master of the demon sect. Although the demon sect is now in decline, a skinny camel is bigger than a horse, and ordinary people are still not easy to provoke. But, today this is no small matter. That is her apprentice, she is the saint of Ling Shu sect. Being defiled by this devil like this, this matter can't just pass like this. Xiao Shangyu turned her head slightly, looking down at Ling Shui, and Yun Luoxi in Ling Shui's arms. Know what happened without even thinking about it. Alas, this young master is really real. Who is wrong to mess with the saint of the Lingshu sect? It's a bit troublesome now. But there is no way, he is the young master after all, and he must be protected after all. I didn't say I'm not responsible for her. At this moment, Ling Shui said, Of course, if she doesn't want me to be responsible, then I can't help it. While speaking, with a playful smile on the corner of her mouth, she looked down at Yun Luoxi in her arms, Do you want me to be responsible? Go to hell. Yun Luoxi gritted her teeth. This kind of question can be asked, how shameless. At this time, the answer to Ling Shui's question is undoubtedly unsolvable. Make him responsible, still don't want him to be responsible. Regardless of the answer, the winner is Ling Shui. Look, she doesn't want me to be responsible, so what can I do? Ling Shui immediately grinned, I will return it to you. After all, he rose into the air little by little. Holding Yun Luoxi in her arms, she came to Lu Wenwan. But such a scene caused Lu Wenwan's complexion to change instantly. Xiao Shangyu behind was also taken aback, with an unprecedented shock in her beautiful eyes. Of course there is still excitement, young master. What's happening here? He actually, stepped on the void and came up. Doesn't he have no cultivation base at all? What exactly is going on? Little lord, at this time, Xiao Xiao also looked bewildered and shocked. What's the situation? Step into the void, only those above the heaven realm can do it. Isn't the young master congenitally disabled? Isn't the congenital waste body without the slightest cultivation base? How so? Could it be that the young master has been hiding his strength? Oh my god, is the young master so powerful? So it's impossible for such a good-looking young master to be an ordinary person, right? I feel like the young master is getting more and more charming. Xiao Xiao committed a nympho on the spot by himself. And high above the sky, besides Xiao Shangyu, Lu Wenwan on the opposite side was also staring at Ling Shui with her eyes firmly at this moment. What exactly is going on? This young master of the demon sect, this future demon master, is he not congenitally disabled? And the cultivation base is not low. If this is really the case, then the whole world. I am afraid it will change. The magic gate has fallen, and the magic gate has been silent for countless years. It is because the dragons of the demon sect have no leader, or the dragon head is a waste. But now, the leader of the dragons is not a useless person. Now, 
the giant dragon of Momen, which has been sleeping for many years, will surely recover. The general trend of the world is bound to change drastically. Many people, many powerful forces, will definitely not be able to sit still. A storm is inevitable, you do not want. At this time, Ling Shui said, if you don't want her, I'll leave her in my demon sect as a maidservant. As soon as these words came out, young Luoxi's pretty face became even colder. I am a majestic saint of the Lingxu sect, and I will be your handmaid. Does the Lingxu sect want to lose face? Although now she doesn't want Ling Shui to tarnish her, it would be embarrassing if the news got out. This fool seems to have deliberately made this matter public. Lu Wenwan recovered from the shock, and then grabbed young Luoxi. A burst of golden spiritual energy surged away from his body, enveloping Yun Luoxi completely, helping Yun Luoxi to adjust his breathing and recover. Then he lifted the quilt with his palm, and at the same time, with a movement of his mind, Yun Luoxi had been wrapped in a brand new long white dress. Yun Luoxi regained her strength in the blink of an eye. As soon as she was able to move, she waved her jade hand, and a thin sword appeared in her hand. Then he stabbed at Ling Shui with a sword. This sword directly hit Ling Shui's throat. He went there with the intention of killing Ling Shui. Ding. And her sword, of course, did not stab Ling Shui. Instead, it was gently pinched by Ling Shui's fingers. This is revenge. Since you already know my strength, why waste this strength? There was a faint smile on the corner of Ling Shui's mouth. Go to hell. Yun Luoxi shouted angrily, drew his sword and stabbed again. But still dodged by Ling Shui. Holding the sword, she attacked Ling Shui like crazy. Snow White Sword energy roared in midair. But it couldn't cause any slight damage to Ling Shui. And Ling Shui certainly didn't intend to do anything to her. After all, it is up to her to imagine how she will improve her strength in the future. Of course she can't die, nothing can happen. Under Yun Luoxi's random attack, Ling Shui was always able to handle it with ease. He even turned around and slapped the saintess of the Ling Shu sect on the ass. It made the latter even more ashamed and indignant. The scene of the two fighting in midair looks like flirting. Ling Shui was just teasing Yun Luoxi. And Lu Wenwan, who had been staring at Ling Shui and Yun Luoxi from behind, suddenly saw an opportunity. Immediately, she shot away in a burst, attacking Ling Shui's back with one palm. Regardless of what young master Ling Shui is, sleeping with her disciple is such a shame, she certainly can't let Ling Shui go. Ling Shui must pay the price. Even if it is an enemy of the entire demon sect, it will not hesitate. But at this moment, Wen Lu Wenwan thought that her blow would definitely make Ling Shui lose a layer of skin. Ling Shui turned her head suddenly, her blood-red beautiful eyes looked at Lu Wenwan with a bit of coldness. At that moment, Lu Wenwan only felt an indescribable sense of crisis creeping up from her heart. She subconsciously wanted to stop. It's a pity, it's too late. Ling Shui raised his hand suddenly and slammed him with a palm. Boom. The next moment, a blood-red shock wave rippled in midair. The surrounding clouds were shaken to pieces. Puff. Then, Lu Wenwan spurted out a mouthful of blood and shot out backwards. Her face and eyes were full of disbelief and horror. What is this? Even though this young master of the demon sect is not congenitally disabled, even though he has something to hide. But, he is only 20 years old. How could a 20-year-old have such terrifying strength? As a divine origin realm, with this palm, he is not his opponent at all. Could it be that his strength will be at the Shenyuan realm or even above the Shenyuan realm? How can this be? Is the real face of the young master of the demon sect so terrifying? Also, when my apprentice who is riding a horse touches you, you just smile and let it go. As soon as my old lady makes a move, you will kill me like this. Isn't that too big of a distinction? Not only Lu Wenwan, but also Xiao Shangyu was taken aback at this time. Young master, this is divine origin realm. No, something is wrong. Then Lu Wenwan is also in the divine origin realm, so it wouldn't be too much for just one palm, right? His realm seems to be indeed the realm of Shenyuan, but his real combat power can almost be compared to the realm of extreme martial arts. In other words, within the divine origin realm, he is invincible. The peak of the divine origin realm. The corner of Xiao Shangyu's mouth then slowly curled up. Who would have thought, the congenital waste body that everyone talks about is such a monstrous evildoer? 
With his strength and talent, how difficult is it to revive the demon sect? At this time, Xiao Shangyu's eyes glowed with an unprecedented light. Over the years, like everyone else, she looked at a handsome young master, but she couldn't see a bright future for the demon sect. Even she, like everyone else, has given up her mind a long time ago. But now, the strength displayed by Ling Shui undoubtedly rekindled the light of hope in her heart. It will also ignite the entire demon gate that has been decadent for many years. Master, young Luoxi's pretty face changed when she saw her master being blasted out with a palm, and quickly caught Lu Wenwan, and the two of them slowly landed on the top of a mountain. Master, he is at the peak of the divine origin realm, and you are no match for him. Young Luoxi said hastily as soon as she landed. Peak of the divine origin realm. Lu Wenwan frowned. I am only in the early stage, and he is at the peak, of course, I cannot be his opponent. Lu Wenwan then took another look at Yun Luoxi, then you still fight him. If you hadn't fought him, would the teacher think he wasn't that strong? If you hadn't fought with him, the teacher would have made a surprise attack and been severely injured by his palm. Yes, he doesn't hurt you, he loves you, pampers you and lets you. What about teachers? The palm of a teacher is for nothing. I, Yun Luoxi was speechless. I am in a fit of anger. Ling Shui really gave in to him, but how did he know that he was so rude to his master? One at the peak of the divine origin realm, and one at the middle stage of the divine origin realm. Lu Wenwan said with a sullen face, is it possible that I, the Ling Shu sect, will be bullied like this? Can't beat, sure can't beat. Not to mention that she was the only one who came, even if she called all the strong men of the Ling Shu sect, they couldn't beat them at all. There is such a young master in the moment, and Xiao Shang Yu, and of course there are some masters in the moment. Of course, there is no chance of a full-scale war. If there is an all-out war, even without Ling Shui, the Ling Shu sect cannot be the opponent of the demon sect. Let's go if you have nothing to do. If you do it again, I'm not sure if the next move will kill you. In midair, Ling Shui had a faint smile on the corner of his mouth. Those blood-red eyes looked down at Yun Luoxi and Lu Wenwan on the top of the mountain. Are you so arrogant and unreasonable? Lu Wenwan said with a stern face, don't you give me any explanation. He came to beg someone by himself, but his apprentice was put to sleep, and he was injured. This is simply too embarrassing. Wouldn't it be embarrassing to spread the word? This fool, at least an apology is fine. That would also allow her to step down, and the entire Ling Shu sect. Arrogant and unreasonable, Ling Shui chuckled. Isn't that how my demon sect is seen by the world? Demon door. If it is as decent as your famous sect, what is it called a demon sect? Of course, occasionally I will be reasonable. Ling Shui's eyes fell on Yun Luoxi, and he continued, How about, dot you marry me in a legitimate way? If this woman can be loyal to herself, it may better stimulate her imagination and make herself stronger. You, down below, Yun Luoxi was about to reply with a cold face. But Ling Shui directly interrupted her, Think clearly before answering, I promise. I will only ask this once. Hearing Ling Shui's words, Yun Luoxi frowned tightly. After a while, she still said three words coldly, Don't even think about it. Defiled by you, still want to marry you. Where is such a good thing? Good. Ling Shui smiled faintly, then waved, Then you guys go. On the top of the mountain, Yun Luoxi had a cold and pretty face, staring fixedly at Ling Shui. After a while, she could only snort coldly and look away. Then supported Lu Wenwan. Master, let's go. At once. Lu Wenwan was really not reconciled. But when he looked at Ling Shui standing with his hands behind his back in midair, he was completely helpless. Reasonable, people don't talk about it. Unreasonable, can't beat it. What else can I do? Of course, if you can't afford it, you can only hide. My Ling Shu sect will remember this account. She could only say something coldly afterwards. After saying that, he took Yun Luoxi with him and rose into the air little by little. Yun Luoxi gave Ling Shui a cold look at the end. Afterwards, the master and apprentice did not stay any longer, and shot away into the distance. Leaving Ling Shui and Xiao Shang Yu standing in midair. And the nympho faced little. Watching Yun Luoxi disappear at the end of his sight, Ling Shui turned his gaze away. Then he turned around and looked at Chao Xiaoshangyu. 
immediately summon all the powerful people in my demon sect, all the troops from all sides. Now that he has his strength now, that is also the time to reorganize the magic door up and down. Let the reputation of demon sect resound through the sky once again. Xiao Shang Yu looked at Ling Shui with beautiful eyes, and a faint smile appeared on her red lips, are you, ordering me? Hearing this, Ling Shui frowned slightly. Little by little, his figure floated in front of Xiao Shang Yu, staring at her, I'm ordering you. Xiao Shang Yu smiled again, and then said slowly, I like the way you give orders. In the past, when Ling Shui came to her for something, it was always a discussion or even a request. But now, it is a direct order. Such Ling Shui is like a real young master of the demon sect. Just like a real devil master. At this moment, what exudes from him is exactly the temperament of a leader. Go back and find a chance, and tell me what you have been hiding all these years. After Xiao Shangyu smiled, she turned around and fled away. Go to summon the powerful from all sides of the demon sect. It's time to revive the magic door that has been silent for many years. How strong is the overall strength of the demon sect? When the former demon lord, that is, Ling Shui's father was still in power. Throughout the world, royal empires, sect gangs, ancient races, exotic monsters, void creatures, all are grandchildren who can only bow their heads when they see the demon sect. Magic door. Just such a simple word, but it is a mountain that weighs on the heads of everyone in the whole world. Shaking the world, no one can beat him. But in the end Ling Shui's father died. The reason, of course it was calculated. No matter how powerful a person is, there will be times when they stumble after all. Since then, Momen has plummeted. But after all, it is a demon gate, even if the demon master is dead, it is still a demon gate. It's just that from then on, the magic gate can't even step on everyone's head. It can only be said, on par with the top powers. And the people who plotted against Ling Shui's father back then, those strong men in the realm of extreme martial arts, of course also died together with Ling Shui's father. Therefore, although the demon sect is in decline now, none of the remaining forces dare to provoke it casually. In addition, everyone knows that Ling Shui, the young master of demon sect, is a congenital waste. So there is no vigilance against the magic gate. Nor will there be the idea of joining hands to completely eradicate the magic gate. After all, the demon sect after its decline is also very powerful, and if you want to eradicate it completely, you must pay a huge price. Anyway, the young master of the demon sect is a useless person, and the demon sect has no future. Therefore, there is no need to fight with the demon gate. You can let the demon sect develop lazily, and sooner or later the demon sect will disappear in the long river of history. This point, the people of demon sect are also very clear. So these years, Momen has been in a very negative state. It's like being so negative when one's luck is very low. But now, it's different. Everything is different. The young master of the demon sect, the new demon lord of the demon sect, is at the peak of the Shenyuan realm at the age of 20. He will surely lead the demon sect to achieve its former glory. Let the magic gate step on everyone's heads again. At this time, there are already many figures gathered in the main altar of the demon sect. Those were the high-ranking members of the demon sect that Xiao Shangyu could call back as much as possible. They are all the top powerhouses of the demon sect. Outside the main hall, on the square, and in the sky, there are densely packed armies from all sides under the command of the demon sect. Tens of thousands, densely packed, overwhelming. The main altar of the demon sect, which was originally deserted, was extremely lively and spectacular at this moment. These are only those that can be summoned at present. There are still many large armies and many high-level powerhouses in farther places, and those who cannot gather for the time being. In the main hall, Ling Shui was sitting on top of that head. With one hand propping his head, white hair fluttering, a pair of blood-red indifferent eyes, looking down at Xiao Shangyu and the others in the hall. Like an eternal king, looking down at the ministers. Xiao Xiao was standing next to him at this time, looking at the high-ranking members of the demon sect gathered in the hall with some novelty. It's been a long time, and I haven't seen so many core high-level and powerful people of Momen gathered together. The ones who haven't arrived yet. Dot are they really unable to come, or do they say they don't want to come? Ling Shui's indifferent voice then sounded in the hall. At present, all I can contact are here. Xiao Shangyu replied. 
the rest of the people are indeed far away and cannot come here. Ling Shui nodded lightly. In this case, he is quite satisfied. If someone knows that he is summoned but deliberately does not come, deliberately does not obey his order. Then, there is no way to keep such a person. To be your own subordinate, of course, you must have no second thoughts about yourself and no rebellion. I heard that the young master has been hiding his strength. At this moment, in the hall, a figure suddenly stepped forward. It was a middle-aged man, with a beard all over his face, thin and aged, with an air of dust all over his body. He had a knife stuck in his waist, with one hand resting on the handle. Pale hilt and scabbard, of course the blade inside is also pale. He also has a pair of eyes that are so pale that there is no other color. Black clothes, black hair. Bai Tong, Bai Dao. At this time, it was Bai Tu, one of the twelve heavenly demons of the demon sect. The twelve demons of heaven are a group of top masters in the demon sect. Twelve of them are all in the divine origin realm. Back then, he was the most powerful fighter beside Ling Shui's father. Of course Xiao Shangyu is one of them. Of the twelve heavenly demons present, there are only four of them. Besides Xiao Shangyu and Beidu, there were two other women. Young master's title, probably can be changed. Ling Shui's blood red eyes looked at Bai Tu, and then said lightly, from now on, I am the master of the demon sect. I, am the demon master. The position of demon lord was originally passed on to him. He was the only one who could inherit the position of demon lord. It's just that he didn't admit it all the time, and neither did his subordinates. But now, since he has that strength, of course he should justifiably inherit the position of demon lord. He he, demon lord, Bai Tu sneered, I'd like to see if you have the qualifications. Swish, after all, his figure actually shot directly towards Ling Shui who was above the leader. At the same time, the pale knife in his hand was drawn out instantly, and slashed at Ling Shui directly. And Ling Shui, who was sitting at the top, didn't show any expression at this moment didn't even move. Hum. The next moment, the figure of Bai Tu, who burst out at full speed, was fixed in the air in front of him. The pale knife was also fixed in front of Ling Shui's head. A blood-red spirit barrier abruptly blocked Bai Tu's right. There wasn't any shock wave spreading out, because the fluctuations generated by the impact of the two forces were also suppressed by Ling Shui in reverse. So much so that even Xiao Xiao next to Ling Shui won't be affected in the slightest. Bai Tu's figure was fixed in the air, holding the handle of the knife with both hands, with a serious face, he pressed down hard. The snow-white blade vibrated with a high frequency in mid-air, but it couldn't be pressed down even an inch. On Bai Tu's palm, veins popped out. At this moment, he has undoubtedly exerted all his strength. But, they just couldn't touch Ling Shui at all. Ling Shui raised his blood-red eyes and looked at him. Then smile lightly. Boom. Immediately. Beidou's figure was thrown backwards by the shock, and smashed hard into the center of the hall. From the beginning to the end, Ling Shui never moved even an inch. However, Beidou, who was in the early stage of Shenyuan realm, had already hit the ground, with a trace of blood spilling from the corner of his mouth. Ha 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 ha. However, instead he looked up to the sky and laughed. It was a hearty laugh. Being beaten by the young master, it hurts too. But I personally verified that the young master's strength is far stronger than himself, so soon. Combining the two is a joy. Ha 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 ha, I knew it, how could Father Tiger have a son? Bai Tu got up from the ground, and then directly knelt down to pay homage to Ling Shui, my subordinates refer to Lord Demon Lord. If I offended you just now, I hope Lord Demon Lord forgive me. Now, he directly changed the address. Lord, now, Ling Shui is the devil. He is the new leader of the demon sect. Beidou's life was given by Ling Shui's father. He is willing to give everything for Ling Shui's father, and now, of course he is willing to give everything for Ling Shui. Everyone in Momen has the same idea. So even though Ling Shui was a congenital waste, no one had ever had the slightest idea of replacing him before. But now, I learned that Ling Shui is not only not a congenital waste, but also has unfathomable strength. Then Bai Tu was the same as the others, so of course he was extremely excited. They have a new master, a new master to whom they can be loyal. See Lord Demon Lord. In the hall, the rest of the people who had doubts about Ling Shui before all bowed down at this moment. 
Ling Shui didn't even move, but Beidou was bounced back and injured. It can be seen that Ling Shui is very powerful. Sure enough, the young master has been hiding his strength all along. His strength is actually far above everyone else. His talent is even more terrifying than his father back then. Such a person is qualified to be the master of the demon sect. To be eligible to let all of them go to allegiance. Just like the demon lord back then, let everyone willingly pledge their allegiance. Get up. Above the first place, Ling Shui waved lightly. Everyone stood up. He he. You really are becoming more and more like a king. At this time, another charming laughter sounded in the hall. A plump and enchanting woman stepped forward. This woman is wearing very thin clothes. A circle of purple fabric formed the top, which was also inlaid with some purple gemstones, exuding dazzling brilliance. The inlay root of these gemstones just wraps the two plump clusters, making the two clusters also emit brilliance, which is even more eye-catching. Down, the soft waist like a water snake, slender and white. There is a circle of purple gemstones hanging around the waist, and the largest purple gemstone is just inlaid at the position of the navel. Further down, a purple skirt with slits inlaid with purple gemstones. Only cover the front and back, not the left and right. A pair of snow-white slender jade legs, bare feet, full of beauty. This woman's face, of course, is also the same as her attire. Enchanting and charming. Have you ever seen an orgasm face? That's her kind. At any time, there is a three-point blushing and seven-point charming hunger. This is no longer simply enchanting, it has reached a level that can be called coquettish. This person is also one of the twelve heavenly demons. Yu Yao Yao, I think back when I first came to the demon sect, the young master was just over one year old. Yu Yao Yao's charming voice continued. When I was young, I often played with the young master in my arms, and the young master often urinated on him. The little guy was so cute back then, but now he looks so handsome and domineering. He has also become the new demon lord. This extreme sense of contrast is really unstoppable. While speaking, she lightly licked the red lips of Huo Mei. There was an undisguised greed in those beautiful eyes looking towards Ling Shui. For Yu Yao Yao's temperament, Ling Shui has long been used to it since she was a child. This woman has been staring at him since she was a child. Even when Ling Shui was young, it was almost in her hands. At that time, Ling Shui was still young, only 13 years old. One time when he was taking a bath, Yu Yao Yao broke in suddenly, saying she was giving him a massage and rubbing his back. Then, if someone else hadn't come in suddenly, Ling Shui would have confessed at that time for the first time. Now, Ling Shui looked at Yu Yao Yao, at her waist knife that was fatally tempting to men. Now you can be completely rude to her. Where have you been all these years? Ling Shui then asked. Wandering outside, Yu Yao Yao smiled charmingly. Don't worry, Lord Demon Lord, he is still a perfect body. Of course she could tell that Ling Shui wanted to ask her if she already had a man outside. Of course she won't have a man. After all, Ling Shui's father gathered them together with the twelve demons in order to assist Ling Shui in the future. To put it bluntly, their lives belong to Ling Shui. As for Yu Yao Yao, in her heart, of course she also belonged to Ling Shui. Or to put it another way, Ling Shui is hers. Hearing Yu Yao Yao's words, Xiao Xiao who was beside Ling Shui puffed her lips and cast her a glance. Perfect body is amazing ah. Isn't he also a perfect body? Anyone can do it, why can't I do it myself? The young master is also true, he doesn't beat his crooked thoughts when he is with him every day. Although I haven't grown hair yet, I'm not too young, okay. Ling Shui's blood red eyes glanced at Yu Yao Yao and then retracted. Clean nature is the best. Immediately afterwards, Ling Shui looked at another person. It was also a woman, a deserted woman with black clothes and black hair. She just stood there with her arms folded, and in her hand was a black rapier. The whole person didn't say a word, and that deserted face looked like that kind of stuffy gourd. Very chivalrous. This person, of course, is also one of the twelve heavenly demons. Lin Feng, where have you been all these years? Ling Shui looked at Lin Feng and asked. Does Lord Demon Master also care about whether I am perfect or not? Lin Feng looked up at Ling Shui, and said calmly, I am only responsible for assisting Lord Demon Lord, not serving Lord Demon Lord. She is not as coquettish as Yu Yao Yao, 
since she was a child, she has been thinking about when she will sleep with the young master all day long. She is a relatively serious person, similar to Xiao Shangyu. You just answer truthfully, Ling Shui said flatly. Lin Feng looked at Ling Shui, and then replied truthfully, traveling in the Yuanyang continent, I haven't gone out yet. The continent they are on is naturally the Yuanyang continent. She didn't go far, because she was always ready to return to the magic gate at any time. Do you have, a fragmented scroll? The fragmented scroll of Chenkin sword art. Ling Shui then asked indifferently. There is such a thing in the original book, Lin Feng traveled to the mainland these years and got a piece of fragments. Of course, it's just a fragment. Chenkin sword art. It is rumored that it was left behind by an ancient strongman who was once in the tenth realm of extreme martial arts, and it is extremely powerful. With just a part of the fragments, Lin Feng, who was in the middle stage of the Shenyuan realm, had enough combat power to compete with the strong in the late stage of the Shenyuan realm. It can be seen how terrifying the Chenkin sword art would be if it were complete. After all, it was left by the peak powerhouse of the tenth realm of extreme martial arts. Among the realms of cultivation, the tenth realm of Lingwu is called the realm of beginners. The earth spirit realm is an ordinary realm, and most people can only reach this realm if they spend their entire lives. Tianxuan Mirror can be called a master, and those who can reach this level are considered to have considerable abilities. Only those in the divine origin realm can be called strong. As long as there is a force in the Shenyuan realm, it can be called a big force. And the state of extreme martial arts is the real peak state. From ancient times to the present, there are very few people who can reach the state of extreme martial arts. Even Ling Shui's father, who was at his strongest back then, only reached the sixth realm of extreme martial arts. And the Chenkin sword art was left by a peak powerhouse of the tenth realm of extreme martial arts. It goes without saying how strong the complete Chenkin sword art is. Of course, Ling Shui wanted to obtain that level of martial arts and combat skills. It seems that Lord Demon Master is really decadent on the surface, but he actually knows everything about us. Lin Feng looked at Ling Shui with her cold beautiful eyes. In her hand, there is indeed a fragment of the Chenkin sword art. That's what she got by chance. Of course she never told anyone about this, but Ling Shui knew about it. It can be seen how difficult this young master is. She even wondered if Ling Shui had been arranging experts to spy on them. Are there any masters in the demon sect that I don't know? Give me. Ling Shui sat on the top seat and stretched out her hand towards Lin Feng. Without any hesitation, Lin Feng flicked her fingers. That fragment of paper flew towards Ling Shui. What Ling Shui wants, of course she will give. Don't talk about it, even if Ling Shui wants her, even though she is not the kind of woman who has unreasonable thoughts about Ling Shui, she will still give it to Ling Shui. Ling Shui reached out and took the fragmented scroll. Looking at the remnant scroll in his hand, the corner of his mouth curled up slightly. What he wants is the complete Chenkin sword art. And where the complete Chenkin sword art is, no one knows. Even the complete version of the original finale has never appeared. It can be regarded as a big hole that was not filled in the original book. But now, of course, he can use Yun Luoxi to directly obtain the full version of the Chenkin sword art. I know where the complete Chenkin sword art is. Ling Shui twirled the fragmented scroll in his hand, and then said slowly, Send the order, my demon sect will immediately go to Kenyan Tianshan to capture the complete Chenkin sword art. When Ling Shui said this, Lin Feng and the others were shocked. Does he know where the complete Chenkin sword art is? Just in Kenyan Tianshan. How did he know? In Kenyan Tianshan, there is an ancient tomb. The complete Chenkin sword art is in that ancient tomb. Ling Shui continued with a faint smile. There is indeed an ancient tomb there, of course, the complete Chenkin sword art is not inside. What he wants is to make everyone think that the complete Chenkin sword art is inside. Among all the people, including Yun Luoxi, of course. As long as she thinks that the Chenkin sword art is there, as long as she thinks that she has obtained the Chenkin sword art. Then, I will naturally have the Chenkin sword art. Therefore, a false truth needs to be created. A false truth that Yun Luoxi firmly believed in. Yes, I will pass on the order, and I will go to Kenyan Tianshan secretly with the master of the demon race. Lin Feng continued. It's not going in secret, but going in a fair manner. And, let everyone know about it. Ling Shui said indifferently. 
As soon as these words came out, Lin Feng and the others were immediately confused. Let everyone know about this. I don't understand. Wouldn't it be better for us to snatch it secretly? If other people go too, wouldn't it be troublesome? Lin Feng continued. Others also go, isn't that adding more competitors? You don't need to understand. Ling Shui's blood red eyes looked at Lin Feng. Needless to say the second half of the sentence. You don't need to understand, you just need to obey. Lin Feng's eyebrows moved slightly, this guy really, is becoming more and more like a leader of the demon sect. But, he is the demon master of the demon sect. This is the temperament that a devil should have. Then Lin Feng nodded lightly, yes. Immediately afterwards, Ling Shui asked everyone in the demon sect to release the news. The Chenkin sword art is in the ancient tomb of Kenyan Tianshan, and everyone from the demon sect is about to go to Kenyan Tianshan to capture the ancient sword art. After discussing everything, Ling Shui left Yu Yao Yao and Lin Feng behind. At this time, both of them were waiting at the door of Ling Shui's room. Lin Feng stood at the door, holding the sword, without saying a word. On that serious and calm pretty face, there was a bit of contemplation. What does it mean that the Lord Demon Master left him behind? Let Yu Yao Yao stay, she understands. After all, Yu Yao Yao is so charming, the seduction of Lord Demon Lord is already so obvious that it couldn't be more obvious. Lord Demon Master is young and vigorous, of course he will want Yu Yao Yao. But what about herself? She herself did not seduce Lord Demon Lord. And she had never thought of that before. Lord Demon Lord left her behind, maybe he wanted her to be with Yu Yao Yao. Lin Feng was somewhat unable to imagine such a thing. Don't worry, we are born to belong to the young master. What's wrong with serving the young master? Yu Yao Yao seemed to see Lin Feng's thoughts, so she comforted, trust me, it won't be painful, but you will enjoy it a lot. Hearing this, Lin Feng and Lu Mei moved slightly. Then he looked sideways at Yu Yao Yao. How do you know? I, Yu Yao Yao also frowned slightly, then twisted her water snake-like waist and walked towards the room, I tried it myself. As soon as these words came out, Lin Feng was immediately confused and shocked. Tried it yourself, there is such a thing. Lin Feng looked at Yu Yao Yao's soft waist and pretty buttocks from behind. Then he took another look at her fair and delicate hands. This woman is simply, don't you feel bored, how can you do it? and even said it outright. Don't you feel shy at all? At this moment, Ling Shui walked over with Xiao Xiao from the opposite side. Master Demon Lord, Lin Feng shouted. Ling Shui came up, walked in front of her, and looked down at Lin Feng who was a little shorter than him. Lin Feng lowered her head slightly, although she felt uneasy in her heart, it didn't show it. Did not say anything. Take this and head to Kenyan Tianshan immediately, and place it in the deepest, most hidden place of the ancient tomb, most likely to be used to store treasures. With a wave of his hand, Ling Shui took out the remnant scroll of the Chenkin sword art, and said calmly. As soon as these words came out, Lin Feng was puzzled. Why, also, you asked me to stay just to do this? Didn't he want to be with you Yao Yao, what? Remember, no one is allowed to know about this. Anyone, Ling Shui then emphasized. Although Lin Feng didn't understand Ling Shui's purpose at all, she still nodded, yes. After all, she just took the fragmented paper. Then he glanced sideways at Yu Yao Yao in the room. If you want to stay for a while, you can. Ling Shui seemed to see her thoughts. No. No. Lin Feng shook her head quickly. This subordinate will do it now. After saying that, she quickly turned around and shot towards the distant sky. Since Ling Shui's goal is not for her to be with Yu Yao Yao, that's fine. After all, it never occurred to her to serve the same man with another woman. Seeing Lin Feng leaving in a hurry, Ling Shui just smiled faintly. Then he said to the little novel, don't come in. After saying that, he went into the house and closed the door, leaving Xiao Xiao alone outside. I, Xiao Xiao suddenly puffed up his mouth, and looked at the closed door in front of him. What? and don't let yourself in. What will happen if you go in by yourself? Why can't the young master see himself? Are you really too young? Xiao Xiao looked down at her flat, flat surface that was not obvious. Well, compared to someone like Yu Yao Yao, I am indeed, too small. But, small ones are not bad, right? Besides, even if it doesn't work, it should be fine to see for yourself, right? 
Can't even look at it. Take a look. It's easy to learn by yourself. Snort. Afterwards, she only hummed lightly. Turning around, he sat on the stone steps at the door angrily and waited. In the room, the moment Ling Shui closed the door, Yu Yao Yao had already posted it. I thought there was another woman who wanted to share with you, Lord Demon Lord. She smiled charmingly, and while speaking, raised her fragrant arm and put it around Ling Shui's neck. In this respect, that ice cube face is no match for you. Ling Shui stretched out her arms and wrapped her arms around Yu Yao Yao's slender and soft waist. Hearing this, Yu Yao Yao smiled proudly. That's right, for a woman, being charming is a shining point to be proud of. But Lin Feng doesn't have any such shining points. Immediately afterwards, Ling Shui hugged this stunner directly. But Yu Yao Yao hurriedly said, Young master, people like to take the initiative by themselves. There was a smirk on the corner of Ling Shui's mouth. I prefer to watch you who want to take the initiative. Dot but you can't take the initiative. Dot dot dot. Outside, Xiao Xiao was sitting on the stone ladder, with her head propped on her hands, her mouth pouted. Slowly waiting for the long time of Ling Shui and Yu Yao Yao. But waiting and waiting, she just couldn't take it anymore. I saw her face was irritable, she covered her ears with her small hands, and turned her head to shout at the door, You. Why are you screaming so loudly? Yu Yao Yao's voice was too loose, she couldn't stand it. There is simply no suppression at all. This feeling is beyond comprehension for most women throughout their lives. I can't feel it either. Of course Xiao Xiao couldn't understand it. She could only imagine what happened at this moment in her little head. It's a pity that she couldn't imagine those. Yu Yao Yao's unsatisfied and extremely satisfied expression can only be seen by Ling Shui forever. The picture of Yu Yao Yao's waist twisting like a water snake can only be seen by Ling Shui. Only Ling Shui could see the slightly bulging picture of the purple diamond inlaid on Yu Yao Yao's navel. Chapter 11 The Other Side Ling Shu Sect As a powerful force in Yuanyang continent, Ling Shu Sect still has some strength. The sect covers an area of more than a hundred miles, and has nearly 100,000 disciples. There are a total of three experts in the divine origin realm. Of course, this is not comparable to the demon sect. There are about 20 people in the divine origin realm in the demon sect, who are unparalleled in the world. There are even rumors that there are still many superpowers who hide their identities and strengths, and it is very likely that there are still people in the realm of extreme martial arts. So even if the new demon master of the demon sect fell asleep, the saint of the Lingshu sect is also the disciple of the suzerain, and the suzerain would only dare to reason and ask for an explanation when he came to the door. If someone else who was not as powerful as the Lingshu sect dared to do such a thing, the Lingshu sect would definitely destroy him. However, the weak prey on the strong, and being bullied by the strong, of course they have to swallow their anger. This is also impossible. After Lu Wenwan brought Yun Luoxi back, Yun Luoxi stayed behind closed doors. Hiding alone in the room, no one is seen. Lu Wenwan knew that she was incompetent, failed to protect her lover, and even failed to avenge her lover. If I had been able to protect Yun Luoxi carefully during her retreat, this kind of thing might not have happened. Her apprentice was inherently arrogant, and of course it was hard for her to accept that this kind of thing happened to her. That Ling Shui, with so many women in the world, why does he have to focus on his good apprentice? But it's also true, there are so many women in the world, and there is no one who is more beautiful and temperamental than his apprentice, but there is no second place. This good apprentice of myself is like a creation of the heavens, as beautiful as a fairy, and with extraordinary talents. The creation that surpasses the world, unique. It's a pity that it was ruined like this. Having said that, that Ling Shui was also born with a peerless beauty, and his talent is far above his own disciple. In addition, he is the new demon lord of demon sect. Speaking of which, he is quite a good match for this saintly apprentice. If my disciple had agreed to marry Ling Shui at that time, it would actually be a good thing. And it's a good thing for the entire Ling Shu sect. Thinking of this, Lu Wenwan quickly shook her head, and severely suppressed her own thoughts that shouldn't have. My disciples are all so sad, how can I have such thoughts? Sin Sin. In the past two days since she came back, Yun Luoxi has been staying in the room. I didn't think about tear food, and I didn't see anyone. This made Lu Wenwan somewhat worried that she would be overwhelmed. 
Until Lu Wenwan suddenly learned something, the demon sect was about to go to Kenyan Tianshan to obtain the ancient Kung Fu technique, the Chenkin Sword Ju. Ling Shui is going too. Lu Wenwan told Yun Luoxi about this immediately. After hearing the news, Yun Luoxi was finally willing to walk out of the room. Facing the sun, the peerless fairy in white clothes and white hair gently opened the door and walked out. That face, as fragrant as white jade, looked extraordinarily transparent and moving under the sun. On the deserted pretty face, there is no haggardness in Lu Wenwan's imagination. Instead, it became colder and sharper than before. Seeing this, Lu Wenwan felt relieved. No matter what I say, my disciple is quite strong. I knew she couldn't be so depressed. Is what Master said true? After Yun Luoxi walked out, she asked. It's absolutely true, the people from the demon sect have already acted. And after learning about this, all the forces are heading to Kenyan Tianshan. Lu Wenwan nodded. Let's go too. Yun Luoxi continued. This, Lu Wenwan frowned slightly. Aren't you afraid of meeting him? Why should I be afraid? Mentioning him, a cloud of gloom flashed across Yun Luoxi's eyes. She is indeed not afraid of Ling Shui. She just wished she could kill that fool Ling Shui sooner. There are not many people like her who are not afraid of Ling Shui in the whole world. After all, even her master can only bow her head in front of Ling Shui. Except for her, Yun Luoxi, who in the world would dare to slash at Ling Shui with a sword. The Chenkin sword art is left by the ancient strongman, if I can get it. I will be able to take revenge. Yun Luoxi then said coldly. This is an opportunity for her to become stronger. Only become stronger, stronger than Ling Shui, stronger than the entire magic gate. Only then can she have a chance of revenge. Only then can I personally cut Ling Shui into pieces. Hearing Yun Luoxi's words, Lu Wenwan understood. At the same time, I am also very pleased that my apprentice not only did not fall into a slump, but also has an extra motivation to become stronger. This is relatively speaking, a good thing. Okay, since you are going, I will go with you as a teacher. Immediately, Lu Wenwan nodded heavily. No matter what you do as a teacher, I will give you the Chenkin sword art. Thank you, Master. Young Luoxi nodded slightly. So, after the Master and Apprentice were ready, they went to Kenyan Tianshan together. They didn't intend to take other people there, since the top experts of Lingshu sect didn't have the time. Second, Carrying extra people is sometimes a burden. Just the two of them would make it easier to move around. Dot dot dot. At the same time, in another place of Lingshu sect. Here is a clear spiritual pool. In the clear pool, several female disciples of Lingshu sect were playing and playing. A group of warblers playing in the water is too beautiful to behold. Their scented powder dresses were hung on the treetops beside the spirit pool. But at this moment, when several female disciples were enjoying themselves. In the bushes, there was a salty pig's hand stretched out, and quietly pulled all their dresses away. And the owner of this salty pig's hand is the protagonist of the original work. One of the disciples of Ling Shu sect, Yi Feng. A notorious troublemaker. A well-known underdog. An idiot who laughs and laughs all day long, no different from a street gangster. Yi Feng is not too handsome. Even compared to those top talented youths of Ling Shu sect, he was a little bit worse. It's just the face of ordinary people. Talent is also very average, not very outstanding. But such an ordinary disciple is almost well known in Ling Shu sect. Because he's a notorious hooligan. In the entire Ling Shu sect, he has molested almost all the female disciples. As big as those deacons with ordinary identities, every time they take on a task or something, he would take the opportunity to tease him. Those who are only 12 or 13 years old who have just entered the sect will tell the senior brother to check your body when they see it. The level of disgust is well known to everyone in the Lingshu sect. The only people he didn't dare to tease were the core executives. For example, Top executives like Lu Wenwan, and some elders, this is not something that a mere disciple like him dares to offend at will. There is another one, and that is Yun Luoxi. The saint of Lingshu sect, the disciple of the suzerain, Yun Luoxi. First of all, Yun Luoxi has that kind of arrogant and indifferent temperament, and she never pays attention to ordinary people. If someone dares to offend her, she will not be polite. Secondly, of course it's because Yifeng loves Yun Luoxi. In his heart, 
Yun Luoxi is pure and inviolable. He would not do something that would offend Yun Luoxi in the slightest. As for the other female disciples except Yun Luoxi, Yi Feng was generally not polite. Like him, who can't walk when he sees a woman, he broke into the female disciples' territory today and saw so many female disciples bathing in the spirit pool, of course he would not miss it. So he took the opportunity to take away all their dresses. Hey hey, after taking away the dresses of these female disciples, he hid alone in the bushes on the other side. Peeking quietly. Yo ho ho ho, this water is really white. Although this kind of behavior can't be said to be harmful, it is utterly unconscionable. But it's really a disgusting and low style. Not long after, those female disciples realized that their dresses had long since disappeared after taking a shower. Immediately, the faces of several people changed slightly, what's the matter? What about the clothes? This, could it have been blown away by the wind? How is it possible? Where is there such a strong wind? What should we do? Now that we have no clothes, how do we go out? Quote dot 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 quote. Several people became a little anxious. And when several female disciples were full of anxiety, Yi Feng whistled and walked up slowly from not far away. Ah, rogue. Several female disciples immediately shouted, and quickly squatted in the water with their shoulders hugged. Only one head was exposed. Yi Feng, it really was you, did you fool take our clothes away? Several people then said angrily. What are you talking about? Yi Feng had an innocent face, with his hands behind his back, looking like a gentleman, I'm just passing by, how can you look at an innocent person with such eyes? You are so shameless, hurry up and take out our clothes. All the girls said angrily. This Yi Feng is really disgusting. Pass by, this is the territory of female disciples. The male and female disciples of the Lingxu sect are clearly divided into divisions, how could he pass by? You don't need to guess to know that he did it. After all, this disgusting guy is not the first time to do such a thing. Oh, it's so reasonable that I can't explain it. Yi Feng smiled bitterly and shook his head. I was thinking that if you need help, I can help you, it seems, you can only continue to soak in this water. After saying that, he just turned around and left. You stop. Several female disciples immediately shouted, Yi Feng, if you do this again, we will tell the suzerain. Aren't you afraid of being expelled from the sect? Oh, I'm depressed, I didn't do anything, what are you suing me for? Yi Feng spread his hands, oh, good intentions are like anger. Several people saw him like this, although they were disgusted, but there was nothing they could do about him. Immediately, a female disciple said, then, maybe we really misunderstood. Can, Brother Yi help us go to the residence to get some clothes? Hearing this, Yi Feng's eyes lit up immediately. Go to the female disciple's boudoir. That feeling is good, he he he. Will there be any interesting things found in it? I have never slept in the female disciple's bed. Cough, happy to help. Immediately, Yi Feng coughed dryly. But at this moment, just as he finished speaking, he just suddenly noticed a cold resentment coming from behind him. Immediately he turned around, snapped. As soon as he turned around, a slap was slapped on his face. The one who shot was a girl who looked no more than 18 or 19 years old. An orange long dress, with a delicate and pretty appearance, her figure is much more prominent than her peers. Moreover, her appearance is somewhat similar to that of suzerain Lu Wenwan. Senior sister Lu, when seeing this person, several female disciples in the pool were overjoyed. This person is naturally also a member of the Lingxu sect. And she has a special status, she is the biological daughter of suzerain Lu Wenwan. Orange cream. Immediately afterwards, the eyes of several people saw the dress that Lu Chengshuang was holding in her hands. It was theirs, don't you think you're disgusting? Lu Chengshuang spoke, and she looked at Yi Feng with a disgusted look while speaking. Sneak peek at the female disciple taking a shower, and hide other people's clothes, and then jump out to pretend to be a gentleman. As soon as these words came out, the eyes of those female disciples in the pool turned cold. I knew it was Yi Feng, a perverted and wretched man. Yi Feng, you smelly and shameless. Immediately, several female disciples cursed angrily, it's disgusting. Nausea, Yi Feng covered his face shamelessly, that proves that I am in your heart. Come, come. Senior Sister Lu, slap both sides of the face, and slap this side too. While speaking, 
he also stretched out the other side of his face towards Lu Chengshuang. Lu Chengshuang just glared at him fiercely. It's too dirty for me to hit you. I don't think so, it's so fragrant. Yi Feng touched his slapped face. Then he put his finger on the tip of his nose and kissed it. Lu Chengshuang couldn't bear it any longer, and took a deep breath, get out. Okay, I'm going. Yi Feng grinned, and turned around after saying that. Just after taking a step, she turned around and said, Senior Sister Lu is really getting better and better, and she is getting more and more mature like the suzerain. After finishing speaking, he ran away in a hurry. You, fool. Lu Chengshuang turned around, looked at Yi Feng's leaving back, but didn't bother to catch up with him to settle the score. She could only exhale helplessly, and then said to the female disciples in the pool, when you get dressed, can't you be more careful? We. Dot how did we know that he would come to the residence of the female disciples? Several female disciples were very helpless. Then we leave the water together and get dressed. After getting dressed, they said angrily, Senior Sister Lu, this fool has been playing hooligans in the sect all day, why don't you expel him from the sect? They are also very curious about this. This Yi Feng, although what he did was not a big evil, but really annoying. Some men always feel attractive when they flirt with women. Little did he know that he was a low-level hooligan in others' hearts. Yi Feng is such a person. This kind of hooligan should have been kicked out of the sect a long time ago. Anyway, they got angry when they saw it. Letting such rogue fools stay in the Zongmen would not have a good life for them. Senior Sister Lu, you are the suzerain's daughter, why don't you do me a favor? Let's read him a book together, I don't believe we can drive this fool away. Several female disciples continued to speak. Speaking of this, Lu Chengshuang sighed helplessly, you don't know, he actually. When the words came to her lips, she suddenly choked up again. Because this is a secret, it cannot be known by extra people. What is he actually? Several female disciples looked at Lu Chengshuang curiously, sister, tell me. I'll tell you but you are not allowed to tell others, otherwise I may be punished. Lu Chengshuang said while looking at them. Hum, we will definitely not tell others. The girls nodded repeatedly. Lu Chengshuang took a deep breath, and then told Yi Feng's secret. He is actually, the illegitimate son of the current emperor of the Taishuan dynasty. The Taishuan dynasty was also the land where the Lingxu sect was located. It is a super powerful empire with a thousand years of heritage. On the entire Yuanyang continent, it can be regarded as the top hegemony empire. And Yi Feng is the illegitimate son of the emperor of the Taishuan dynasty. Even Yi Feng himself didn't know about this matter. He doesn't know that the current emperor has been watching him secretly, and even has expert protection placed beside him. On the day Yi Feng entered the Lingxu sect, the emperor of the Taishuan dynasty personally visited the Lingxu sect, secretly greeted the suzerain, and wanted to take special care of Yi Feng. Therefore, Yi Feng was not kicked out of the sect even though he often did some hooligan things in Lingxu sect. The top leaders of the Lingxu sect can only turn a blind eye. Lu Wenwan also told Lu Chengshuang about this, otherwise Lu Chengshuang would not have known about it. When Lu Chengshuang said these words, several female disciples were shocked. The emperor's illegitimate son. So he is, the prince. The faces of the girls were full of shock. Oh my god, he is actually, a prince. Being a prince but acting like a hooligan all day long is really a drop in price. He himself doesn't know his true identity. Lu Chengshuang continued. At the beginning, his majesty the emperor specifically explained it, don't let him know about it for now, just treat it as an experience. Several female disciples nodded. Then he shook his head helplessly. So, we really can't do anything to him. So in the future, Try to avoid him as much as possible, and occasionally teach him a lesson secretly. Lu Chengshuang continued. Of course, you can't really hurt him, otherwise the consequences may be very serious. For example, slap Yi Feng like she did just now. This is perfectly fine. But if you say mutilate him or kill him, that is absolutely impossible. If something happened to the prince in the Lingxu sect, and the empire blamed him, the Lingxu sect might be overwhelmed. HMPH. This fool is relying on the fact that he has something to do behind the scenes. Several female disciples said coldly, otherwise they would have been beaten to death long ago. That's right, 
No wonder I said that the high-level leaders of Lingxu sect seemed to be a little biased on purpose, and they didn't punish him severely when they made a mistake. This fool, I really hope that one day he will provoke someone who can't afford it, and the other party will kill him. But he is the prince, where is there anyone he can't afford? In the empire, he is a little emperor. Beyond the empire, looking at the entire Yuanyang continent, the Taishuan dynasty is also a top existence. He can really rely on his backing to act recklessly. Quote dot 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 quote. This makes people very powerless. Because he is a prince, he can do whatever he wants in Lingxu sect. Occasionally being punished is only a superficial punishment, a very common punishment. No one can do anything about him. No, there is one, there is one force, not to mention offending the Taishuan dynasty, on the contrary, that is far from being offended by the Taishuan dynasty. Liu Chengshuang said suddenly. As soon as these words came out, several female disciples looked at each other. Then they all thought of the same point. Senior sister Liu is talking about, the magic gate. Yes, the demon sect is indeed much stronger than the Taishuan dynasty. Look at the entire Yuanyang continent, look at the whole world. Demons are the real overlords. Although the current demon sect is not as good as before, it is still an existence of the overlord level. The demon sect is indeed an existence far more powerful than the Taishuan dynasty. Moreover, all the people in the demon sect are ruthless characters. Absolutely no one dares to provoke the demon sect easily. The Taishuan dynasty had to bow its head three points in front of the demon sect. But, dot the existence of the demon sect, how could it be related to a disciple of the Lingxu sect? Several female disciples then shook their heads helplessly. Indeed, if Yi Feng offends the demon gate, then the demon gate can take care of Yi Feng. But the question is, how could a little Yi Feng get hooked on such a huge monster like the demon sect? Liu Chengshuang let out a helpless breath. So, you should just avoid him, you can't afford to provoke him, can't you still hide from him? All the girls nodded. Yes, can't you afford to provoke or hide? Out of sight, out of mind, I just hope that I won't see that annoying guy again in the future. After all, the Lingxu sect is so big, it might not be necessary to see him every day. At the same time, I also hope that that fool can really suddenly provoke a ruthless character and then be killed alive. After all, Yi Feng's rogue nature can easily cause trouble. On the other side, after Yi Feng left the Lingqi, he did not leave the female disciples' area. Instead, he came to the residence of one of the female disciples. A very small yard. At this time, in the room, a 17 or 18 year old girl was taking a bath. Yi Feng stepped forward and quietly opened a corner of the window. Looking at the girl inside with half of her fragrant shoulders outside. Brother Yi Feng, stop being sneaky, I know it's you. Unexpectedly, the girl turned around directly, looked in the direction of the window and said. Forehead, Yi Feng laughed dryly, then directly opened the window and walked in, you're still smart, I can't hide it from you every time. The girl in the tub in front of her, although she may not be that outstanding in appearance, is one of a kind in a hundred and is extremely attractive. She is the little heroine of the original novel, Yi Feng Fei's biological younger sister, Yi Yu. Yi Feng's childhood sweetheart, HMPH. Who else can there be besides brother Yi Feng? Yi Jin snorted softly, and then muttered, If it's someone else, I can't spare him. Yi Feng grinned and looked at Yi Yu. Then he said, My dear, you seem to have developed a lot. You, are necrotic. Yi Yu Chao blushed. Then she suddenly looked at Yi Feng's face, Brother Yi Feng, what's wrong with you? Who hit you? On Yi Feng's face, there are still some red palm marks, which are still clearly visible. Who else could it be, senior sister Lu? Yi Feng shrugged. Among all the disciples of the Lingxu sect, Yun Luoxi is undoubtedly the strongest, at the peak of the earth spirit realm. And Yi Feng, because of all kinds of inexplicable luck, his strength has also reached the early stage of the earth spirit realm. Although his talent is average, his strength is among the disciples, and he can be regarded as the best. Looking at the entire Lingxu sect, there are not many disciples who are stronger than him. So there are not many people who dare to fight him casually. Orange Cream is of course one of them. Liu Chengshuang is stronger than him, and she is the suzerain's daughter, so of course he dares to beat her. She. Why did she beat someone? Yi Yu suddenly became unhappy. 
I've never hit brother Yi Feng before. It's okay, it's a misunderstanding. They thought I was watching them take a bath. Yi Feng shook his head. Even if you peek at them taking a shower, so what? There's nothing to lose by watching them. Yi Yu frowned. I'm often seen by brother Yi Feng, what's the big deal? Why do you want to beat someone? Like a brother, there must be a sister. Yi Jin's temperament can be said to have many similarities with Yi Feng. That is, the three views are not very correct. What she thinks she doesn't care about, others shouldn't care about either. She will only stand on her own point of view to express her point of view. There are two types of online male protagonists, one is a hooligan and the other is a righteous one. Of course, there are two kinds of heroines, one is selfish and nothing, and the other is knowledgeable, reasonable, talented and beautiful. Of course, Yi Jin belongs to the kind of selfish and nothing. It's rare that such a hero and a heroine can get together. It's okay no problem. Yi Feng shook his head, then changed the subject and said, why can they all take a bath in that spirit pool, but you are alone in the room? Hearing this, Yi Yu pouted first, and then said, because they don't like me, calling me Yi Feng's younger sister is not a good thing. So, no one will play with me. What? Hearing this, Yi Feng was furious, how dare they bully you? It's not bullying me, it's just, no one wants to be friends with me. Yi Jin muttered, but, I don't care about it. What's so great about them? I wish I had brother Yi Feng. Hearing this, Yi Feng smiled, that's right, what's so great about them? Compared with my concubine, they're just like that. Yi Yu also laughed, and continued, brother Yi Feng, I want to go out to play. Will you go with me? Okay, where are you going? Yi Feng nodded. Go down the mountain. Yi Jin replied. Okay, let's go down the mountain. Yi Feng nodded again. Immediately afterwards, Yi Yu got dressed. Then he went out with Yi Feng. It's just that as soon as the two of them went out, they saw two figures in the sky bursting towards the distant sky. It was Lu Wenwan and Yun Luoxi who had just set off for Kenyan Tianshan. When seeing Yun Luoxi, Yi Feng immediately froze in place. Those eyes seemed to be welded to Yun Luoxi's body. That white dress, that fluttering white hair, that looks like a stunning fairy with a white halo all over her body. It is really intoxicating. Since seeing Yun Luoxi for the first time in Lingxu sect, Yun Luoxi has become the pure and noble white moonlight in his heart. Every time he sees Yun Luoxi, even though he can only look at it from a distance every time, such a beautiful figure like a fairy can make him fascinated. Brother Yi Feng, what are you looking at? Yi Yu next to her was not happy. She understands Yi Feng's temperament, he has been a little pervert since he was a child. But for Yun Luoxi, it's different. In his gaze towards Yun Luoxi, there was that kind of intoxication, that kind of obsession, which could not be seen in anyone else. Although Yi Feng never said it, Yi Yu could tell it directly. Yi Feng loves that woman from the bottom of his heart. That saintess of the Lingxu sect. Where are they, going? Yi Feng laughed dryly. While speaking, his eyes were still looking at the direction where Yun Luoxi and Lu Wenwan were going away. What's none of your business? Yi Yu pouted, you want to see it so much, catch up and watch it. If I can catch up, of course I will. Yi Feng spread his hands. His strength is only at the early stage of the earth spirit realm. But still can't fly in the air. Otherwise he might really catch up. Yu, however, Yi Yu was so angry that his seven orifices smoked, HMPH. I'm ignoring you. After speaking, he walked forward angrily. Yi Feng gave a dry laugh and hurriedly followed. Kenyan Tianshan, the top of Yuanyang continent. This Tianshan mountain, which runs through the clouds, is half below the clouds and half above the clouds. There is quite a sense of majesty in majesty. Its top is a sinkhole. It's like a crater. It spans more than 50 miles in diameter. Inside, an ancient small country existed before. It's just that it was destroyed a long time ago, and no one knows the reason for its destruction. Now, only a ruined wall remains. As for the fact that there is an ancient tomb in this small country, few people know at present. The only person who knows everything completely is Ling Shui. The owner of this ancient tomb is actually the oldest emperor in this small country. The founder of this small country. This small piece of land was originally deserted. But because of the sudden news from Momen, it became lively. 
Various forces from all over the mainland, powerful people from all sides, all came to this place together to join in the fun. After all, the temptation of the Chenkin sword art is too great. That is what a real super strong man of the tenth realm of extreme martial arts has learned all his life. If you get it, the road to practice in the future will definitely be smooth sailing. Of course there is only one copy of Chenkin sword art, but everyone is willing to try their luck. What if you really got it? Furthermore, since it is the place where the Chenkin sword art is located, there must be other secret treasures of chance. If you can't get the Chenkin sword art, you should get some other benefits, right? At this time, in the Tianqing at the top of Tianshan Mountain, scattered figures can be seen everywhere. Although many people came, no one actually knew where the entrance to the so-called ancient tomb was. Everyone was running around like headless chickens. This used to be a national capital, but after an unknown number of years, of course there are only some ruins left. It is of course impossible to find any treasure in these ruins. I'm afraid there is nothing valuable here except the ancient tomb. Therefore, everyone can only wait while trying their luck. Waiting for someone who can open the ancient tomb to appear. That is to say, the person who is waiting for the magic door to appear. Lu Wenwan and Yun Luoxi also just arrived at this time. The figures of the master and the apprentice were suspended above the sky. Looking at the huge sinkhole in ruins, Lu Wenwan frowned slightly. A lot of people came, it seems we have quite a few competitors. Yun Luoxi didn't speak, but kept a sullen face. Of course there are competitors. One of the biggest competitors is Ling Shui. In fact, she just came to try her luck. After all, no one knows where the Chenkin sword art is. Coming to this kind of place to find the Chenkin sword art depends to a certain extent on strength. And more, it depends on luck. Let's see who finds the place where the Chenkin sword art is buried first. Has the people from the Demon Gate arrived yet? Lu Wenwan glanced away, but did not see any figure from the Demon Gate. Why is the demon sect so fanciful, but they haven't arrived yet? Could it be that they are absolutely sure that the Chenkin sword art will not be found by others first? If Momin really has absolute certainty, then I am afraid that the chances of them getting the Chenkin sword art are not high. Young Luoxi also thought the same at this time. Of course she was also worried that the Chenkin sword Ju would fall into Ling Shui's hands. If that was the case, it would certainly be even more difficult to deal with Ling Shui in the future. The demon sect is inherently strong, and Ling Shui is an evildoer in the first place. With the addition of Chenkin sword art, wouldn't it be like a tiger with wings added? Now that he is only in the earth spirit realm, what will he use to take revenge in the future? What to use to face the magic gate? Who are those? At this moment, while Yun Luoxi was thinking, she suddenly noticed a group of people standing under an abandoned pavilion below. Headed by seven mysterious people wearing black cloaks whose faces cannot be seen clearly. There are more than a hundred people behind him, all wearing black cloaks. Yun Luoxi's sensing ability is still very good. She could sense that the aura of this group of people seemed not simple. Lu Wenwan also stared, then narrowed her eyes slightly. Based on her cultivation, she could barely tell that the strength of the seven men in black at the head should all be in the divine origin realm and the hundred or so people behind are all Tianxuanjing. What are the origins of these people? Why are they making such a big fight? Lu Wenwan murmured in a low voice. Seven gods, do these people come from some superpower? With such a strong lineup, looking at the entire Yuanyang continent, it is an absolutely terrifying existence. After all, even her Lingxu sect has only three Shenyuan realms. The royal family of the Taishuan Empire seems to have only ten divine origin realms in total. For a Chenkin sword art, directly dispatching such a lineup. Isn't this somewhat abnormal? These people, probably have another purpose. Wow, at this moment, a sound of breaking wind came from the distant sky. Then, a colossal monster swam over, covering the sky and covering the sun. It was a purple gold six-winged dragon tortoise, with a huge body, more than a hundred feet long. The head of the dragon and the tail of the dragon, the demonic energy is monstrous. On top of the heavy and wide tortoise shell, another gorgeous pavilion that can accommodate thousands of people was built. Everyone knows when they see this six-winged dragon turtle coming. The people of the demon gate, have arrived. At this moment, the entire huge Tianqing became inexplicably quiet. 
It's as if the appearance of the magic gate has a suppressive aura that suppresses everyone so much that they dare not say a word. Everyone raised their heads and looked at the giant dragon turtle with tacit understanding above the sky. Looking at the huge pavilion above the dragon tortoise. On the top of the pavilion, standing in the front as a handsome man. Blood red noble eyes, and a few strands of blood red long hair fluttering in the wind in the snow white hair. He just stood there quietly, like a supreme emperor, exuding an aura of a king from within. Of course he is the current demon lord, Ling Shui. It has to be said that this young master of the demon sect, the current demon lord of the demon sect, is indeed flawless in terms of appearance and temperament. And on Ling Shui's left is the elegant Xiao Shangyu in a dark green dress. On the right is Yu Yao Yao, who is still dressed in a dazzling purple brilliance, with one hand akimbo, protruding forward and backward, which is very eye-catching. Behind them were Lin Feng and Bai Tu who didn't say a word. In the future, there will be many masters of the demon sect. Of course, the battle of the demon sect is also extremely powerful. Four of the twelve demonic demons came directly, and with Ling Shui added, there were five divine origin realm in total. There are many Tianxuan mirrors behind him. With such a lineup, if you look at the whole audience, I am afraid that it is second only to the seven mysterious forces at the head of the Shenyuan realm below. Yun Luoxi's cold gaze was also looking at Ling Shui on the pavilion behind the dragon tortoise. Perhaps in the eyes of others, Ling Shui is a handsome and peerless new demon lord of demon sect. But in her eyes, she only has hatred and coldness towards Ling Shui. And at this moment, when Yun Luoxi looked at Ling Shui, Ling Shui seemed to sense something, and his eyes moved towards her. The two looked at each other across a long distance. The corners of Ling Shui's mouth curled up slightly, and Yun Luoxi came, so of course everything would be better. I noticed Ling Shui's gaze, and I noticed the smile on the corner of Ling Shui's mouth. Yun Luoxi snorted and looked away. Not a single word was said. And Ling Shui just smiled, and his eyes scanned the entire huge sinkhole. He had a panoramic view of the entire Tianqing and the entire Canyon Tianshan. A lot of people really came. All this is exactly what he wants. An illusion, an illusion that everyone thinks that the Chenkin sword art is really here. The more this is the case, the more Yun Luoxi will be convinced that everything is true. In this way, I can get the truly complete Chenkin sword art. Another point, some people who came today, seem to have bad intentions. Of course Yun Luoxi was the first one to bear the brunt, and she would probably have ill intentions for herself in her life. But besides her, there is someone else. Ling Shui stared coldly at the group of men in black below. Seven Divine Origin Realms. The battle is not small. I'm afraid, it's coming for you. Xiao Shangyu who was beside Ling Shui said something lightly. Of course, they also noticed a group of men in black led by the seven Shenyuanjing below. Ling Shui was the young master of the demon sect, and now he is the demon lord of the demon sect. A demon master with extremely strong strength and strong cohesion. With him, the once glorious magic gate will definitely be revived again. At that time, everyone will be trampled under the feet of the magic gate again. Therefore, when it was learned that the magic gate was expected to be revived, of course some people couldn't sit still. This time Ling Shui was coming to Kenyan Tianshan, those who couldn't sit still, of course, would not let go of such an opportunity. Be careful, Xiao Shangyu continued in a low voice. With seven divine origin realms, such a lineup is difficult to deal with. After all, they have only come to five divine origin realms so far. No problem. However, Ling Shui just smiled lightly. One in the late stage of the Shenyuan realm, three in the middle stage, and three in the early stage. Such a lineup may seem powerful, but in fact, it is not at all scary for Ling Shui today. Not to mention that there are Xiao Shangyu and other four Shenyuan realm behind him, but he himself has invincible combat power within the Shenyuan realm. Those seven people besieging him alone may not be able to kill him. Seeing Ling Shui's self-confidence, Xiao Shangyu and the others didn't say much. Since he is sure, he must be sure. Do it, Ling Shui then beckoned lightly. Behind them, Xiao Shangyu and the others nodded, and then swept away at the same time. The four Shenyuan realms fell down at the same time, standing in the four directions below, southeast, northwest. Then, four vast auras burst out at the same time, and the four of them slammed down on the ground. Boom, 
Suddenly, there was an explosion, and the entire Tianqing trembled one after another. Four vast auras rushed into the ground at the same time. Then, in the four directions, there are four complex formations exuding dazzling light. This used to be a small country, and the encirclement formed by the four formations happened to enclose the imperial palace of that ancient country. And the imperial palace was actually built on top of that ancient tomb. Built over the tomb of the first emperor of this small country. Normally, if there are only one or two people who want to enter the ancient tomb, they can enter as long as they find the right formation point. But if you want to enter on a large scale, of course you have to open the door completely and activate the four large formations at the same time. With the joint efforts of the four of Shaoshangyu, the four formations were finally connected together. Then, boom, with a bang, the place where the entire imperial palace was originally located, the ground cracked, and everything was wiped out. A huge, square, and distorted void appeared in everyone's sight. Only at this moment did everyone understand why no one could find the entrance to this ancient tomb. Because this ancient tomb was built in another space. And if you want to completely open this space, you have to activate four large formations at the same time. It seems that they really know this place very well. In midair not far away, Yun Luoxi and Lu Wenwan looked at the huge entrance of the space below and said at the same time. As a result, it seems that there is really not much possibility to obtain the Chenkin sword art. At this moment, Ling Shui had already come to Yun Luoxi's side without knowing when. After Yun Luoxi noticed it, she immediately dodged to the side. An expression of fear of what Ling Shui would do to her. Ling Shui just smiled lightly, and said lightly to Yun Luoxi, with me. If you bring Yun Luoxi with you, then, of course, she will be able to witness with her own eyes that she has obtained the Chenkin sword art. Yun Luoxi's sky-defying ability is to make her absolutely believe that she has some strength or something. Then you must be able to have something. Therefore, the more true the better, the more she believes the better. If she saw herself get the Chenkin sword Ju with her own eyes, then she witnessed herself using the Chenkin sword Ju. Then she will naturally believe that what she got is the complete Chenkin sword art. As soon as Ling Shui said this, Lu Wenwan glanced at Yun Luoxi quietly. Actually, it's not impossible. Momin seems to know this ancient tomb very well, and they may really know where the Chenkin sword art is. If you follow them, you may still have a chance to get the Chenkin sword art. If you don't follow them, maybe you won't even be able to see what the Chenkin sword art looks like. After all, no one knows what kind of scene is in this ancient tomb. However, Yun Luoxi gave Ling Shui a cold look. Then he withdrew his gaze and said coldly, I refuse. The refusal was straightforward, without hesitation at all. She can never be the same as Ling Shui. It can only be a mortal enemy. Seeing her attitude, Ling Shui just smiled. Then he said, Are you also here for the Chenkin sword art? Yun Luoxi didn't speak. Not speaking is of course the default. Getting the Chenkin sword art, Will you have one more whole card that can deal with me in the future? Ling Shui continued. Yun Luoxi still didn't speak. Of course Ling Shui could guess these things, and of course she didn't have to deny them. She was going to kill Ling Shui, and she wanted revenge. The gap between the sparrow and the eagle is huge, and the forward speed of the two is different. Flying together, the distance will only get farther and farther. Ling Shui then said lightly, You will never catch up and you will never be able to take revenge. After saying that, he turned around and swept away, returning to the pavilion on the back of the dragon turtle. Yun Luoxi and Lu Wenwan were left standing in place. Yun Luoxi glanced at Ling Shui coldly and then looked away. I thought to myself, you are the sparrow. Lu Wenwan didn't say anything at the side. He just looked at Yun Luoxi and shook his head helplessly. What Ling Shui said, actually makes sense. Who is he? The aloof demon lord of the demon sect. A cultivation base at the peak of the divine origin realm. What about you? A disciple of the little spirit market sect, although he is very talented, he is still incomparable with him. You in the earth spirit realm are inferior to him in status and strength. In the future, what will I use to catch up with him? What to take revenge? Maybe it can only be like what he said, the gap between you will only get bigger and bigger. The chances of revenge, will only get smaller and smaller. Lu Wenwan then sighed slightly again. 
my good apprentice, where do you go in the future, you are also at a loss as a teacher. As a teacher, I can only, help you as much as possible. As for how far you can reach in the end, and whether you can really take revenge, it depends on your luck. On the back of the dragon tortoise, after the four of Xiaoxiangyu opened the entrance to the space of the ancient tomb, they also swept over and returned to Ling Shui. Immediately afterwards, Ling Shui waved lightly. The huge dragon tortoise let out a deep roar, and then slowly swam downward with everyone in the demon sect. Under the watchful eyes of everyone in the entire Tianqing, the huge dragon turtle slowly submerged into the boxy twisted space. Seeing this, the other powerhouses from all sides rushed down towards the entrance of the space one after another. The densely packed figures swept forward and backward towards the bottom. Yun Luoxi and Lu Wenwan also followed. Everyone passed through the huge space entrance. Then, came to a new world, a new world. Below, there is indeed a whole new space. The mountains, rivers and rivers are surrounded by spiritual mist, and under the colorful auspicious clouds, it is like a fairyland. A vast fantasy wonderland. Between the mountains and rivers, palaces and pavilions rose from the ground, scattered in all directions. Incomparably spectacular. Everyone was shocked when they saw this new world. Who would have thought that there was another world hidden on the top of the Kenyan Tianshan mountain? This place is not bad. Ling Shui's blood red eyes overlooked the entire vast fairyland. Who would have thought that such a place was actually an ancient tomb? After getting the Chenkin sword art, I will move the main altar of my demon sect here. Ling Shui continued, The environment here is very good and full of aura. In addition, it is the highest peak in the entire continent, the top of Kenyan Tianshan Mountain. And it's in another space. Therefore, it is even better to use this place as the main altar of the demon sect. Behind him, Xiao Shangyu and the others nodded. After this operation is over, the magic gate can be relocated here. This new world is fully enough to accommodate everyone in the demon sect. Immediately afterwards, Ling Shui waved his hand. Everyone, separately search for the Chenkin sword art. If there is any change, we can meet at any time. Yes, behind them, everyone nodded their heads, and then a series of figures shot away from the pavilion. It shot towards all directions of this ancient tomb wonderland. Look for the Chenkin sword art separately. My lord. Lin Feng looked confused. What is he thinking? Didn't you let yourself put the remnants of the Chenkin sword art here? If what you're looking for is just that fragment, then you know where it is. Is there really a need to look for them separately? No one knows where the Chenkin sword art is, anyone. Do you understand? Ling Shui emphasized a sentence to Lin Feng without explaining too much. What he wanted, of course, was to finally find the Chenkin sword art after a lot of searching. Instead of getting it directly. In that case, there is something false about it. If Yun Luoxi had any doubts, wouldn't his work be in vain? Therefore, it is still necessary to create an illusion of looking for the Chenkin sword art. Only in this way can everything look more reasonable and more real. Although Lin Feng had no idea what Ling Shui was thinking, she still nodded, yes. After all, she also jumped away, cooperating with Ling Shui, pretending to look for the Chenkin sword art. Since Ling Shui said that no one knows where the Chenkin sword art is, then anyone, including herself of course, she will obey all orders from Ling Shui. My lord, there, is there really a complete Chenkin sword art? Behind him, Yu Yao Yao twisted her soft waist and came to Ling Shui's side. She was also there when Ling Shui asked Lin Feng to send the fragments here. So of course she knew about it too. It's just that she didn't understand why Ling Shui did this at all. Ling Shui didn't answer Yu Yao Yao's question, but turned her head slightly and glanced at her. I shouldn't ask too much, I just need to obey, my fault. Sensing the look in Ling Shui's eyes, Yu Yao Yao quickly smiled charmingly, and took the initiative to admit her mistake, I promise there will be no next time. Although she said she was admitting her mistake, even though she was really admitting it in her heart. But it always looks naughty. Mischievous and charming are blended on one face, but it has a unique charm. Of course Ling Shui didn't blame her either. He just shifted his gaze slightly, and glanced at Yun Luoxi and Lu Wenwan who had just entered not far away. Then, he swept away with Yu Yao Yao and Xiao Shang Yu at the same time. On the back of the huge dragon turtle, only a few people were left waiting in place. 
The rest of the demon sect all acted at this time. Moving in all directions, scattered away. Ling Shui took Xiao Shang Yu and Yu Yao Yao to wander in this fairyland ancient tomb filled with aura. Although it is said that he is looking for the Chenkin Sword Art, in fact, he is just enjoying the scenery leisurely. By the way, get acquainted with this place. After all, he planned to relocate the demon gate here. Along the way, Xiao Shang Yu, who was accompanying Ling Shui, couldn't help asking questions. Questions about why Ling Shui has been so tolerant all these years. Facing all of Xiao Shangyu's problems, Ling Shui just found an excuse to deal with it. Let's say it's just to test the loyalty of the remaining people in the demon sect. As for Ling Shui's answer, neither Xiao Shangyu nor Yu Yao Yao had much doubt. After all, this reason is very reasonable. Since the fall of Ling Shui's father and those super powerful beings in the realm of extreme martial arts, Momen has plummeted. If you want to revive the demon sect, you need a group of subordinates who are absolutely loyal and cohesive. Ling Shui's probing like this is of course necessary. Only a group of subordinates who are united and loyal can help Ling Shui revive the demon sect. Dot dot dot. This ancient tomb indeed contains many secret treasures of chance. In the original book, the protagonist Yi Feng also came here later. Got a lot of benefits here. And those benefits, now that Ling Shui has come first, of course it is impossible for him to get them again. All the secret treasures of chance, Ling Shui basically took them into his arms. Of course, he doesn't need those things now. After all, cultivation at the peak of the divine origin realm, those panaceas and so on, are basically useless to him. But of course the demon sect has thousands of troops and horses. Therefore, Ling Shui will go through all the places where secret treasures are buried according to the records in the original book. Get those pills, exercises, magical weapons and so on. As for the so-called complete Chenkin sword art, of course it is not here. Ling Shui just used this ancient tomb as a cover to deceive Yun Luoxi. But now, Yun Luoxi is of course convinced that the Chenkin sword art is indeed here. Therefore, she and Lu Wenwan are still searching. Trying to luck. The Chenkin sword art was hidden by Lin Feng, so it was not easy to find it. But it's still easy to find other goodies. In this fairyland-like ancient tomb, under a towering palace is a vast sea of magma and fire. The air in the entire sea of flames became distorted under the scorching heat. At this moment, Yun Luoxi and Lu Wenwan were standing on the stone platform at the edge of the sea of magma and flames. This place used to seem to be a place of trials. Lu Wenwan looked at the sea of fire below and said. In the sea of flames, densely packed boulders protruded. These boulders are arranged one by one, forming an encircling circle one after another. And in the middle of these encircling circles is a light group exuding snow-white brilliance. Like a sun, in the center of that magma. Lu Wenwan can tell at a glance that this is a place of trials. It should be a place dedicated to the former royal juniors of this ancient country. Those stone circles, the further inward they were, the greater the high temperature and flame power they had to withstand. Of course, the training effect will be stronger. Lu Wenwan, who is the suzerain, is very familiar with this kind of design. It seems to be a unique fire in there. Lu Wenwan looked at the white light cluster in the middle with her beautiful eyes. The flame power contained in this kindling is extremely powerful. Of course, it was nothing to a powerhouse like her in the divine origin realm. But for Yun Luoxi, it's definitely a good thing. You failed to attack the profound sky mirror in retreat before. If you can absorb this fire, you will definitely be able to break through the profound sky mirror. It may be enough to reach the middle or even late stage of the profound sky mirror. Lu Wenwan then smiled and said, It seems that luck is good, no matter what, this lying down is not in vain. Get the Chenkin sword art if you can get it, and forget it if you can't get it. But you have to get some other secret treasures of chance, right? Young Luoxi's beautiful eyes also looked at the white flame, then nodded slightly. Although the gap between Tianxuan Mirror and Ling Shui is still extremely huge. But in any case, it is one step closer to revenge. Of course, she would not miss such an opportunity. Immediately, Lu Wenwan raised her hand, and a warm aura flowed out, covering Yun Luoxi. This thing, you have to absorb it yourself. The process may not be easy. Lu Wenwan protected Yun Luoxi with a layer of spiritual energy and said, 
just absorb the refining with peace of mind, and the master will protect you. Thank you, master. Young Luoxi nodded slightly. Immediately afterwards, no longer hesitate. Towards the sea of fire, swept down. Her figure first landed on the outermost circle of stone platforms. As soon as it landed, she could clearly feel the hot flame temperature coming from the front. It's not from magma, it's purely from the small light cluster in the center. Absorb and refine all these flame powers into your own spiritual power. Then, it must be able to break through the profound sky mirror. As my master said, it is possible in the middle or even later stage of Tianxuan mirror. Immediately, Yun Luoxi exhaled lightly. Then, sit cross-legged on the spot. Slowly closing his eyes, restraining his mind, he began a long absorption. And Lu Wenwan waited quietly at the side. She stood there like this, looking at Yun Luoxi who was sitting in the sea of magma and flames from a distance. Looking at his beautiful and flawless disciple. Looking at her beautiful figure in white clothes and white hair, it seems to be more dazzling than the light cluster in the center of the magma. She is perfect in all aspects, with an unparalleled appearance and temperament, and a talent for cultivation that is unparalleled in thousands of miles. In the past, Lu Wenwan planned to pass the Lingxu sect to her daughter Lu Chengshuang in the future. But ever since she accepted Yun Luoxi as a disciple, she changed her mind. Because from all aspects, Yun Luoxi is better than Lu Chengshuang. She is more suitable to be the saint of Lingxu sect. She is like a dazzling pearl of the Lingxu sect, the pride of the entire Lingxu sect. It is also Lu Wenwan's pride. At the beginning, Lu Wenwan also made Lu Chengshuang unhappy because of these things. Later, Yun Luoxi took the initiative to talk to Lu Chengshuang alone. I don't know what happened at that time, anyway, since then, Lu Chengshuang has no prejudice against Yun Luoxi. The two even became good friends to a certain extent. This is exactly what Lu Wenwan wanted to see. Well, Lu Wenwan looked at Yun Luoxi's figure and shook her head slightly. Sometimes, she even felt that she treated Yun Luoxi better than her own daughter. Why, is it because I put too much hope on Yun Luoxi? Even, put some of her hatred on Yun Luoxi. I can't do those things myself, so I long for my disciples to do those things. Do you feel sorry for Yun Luoxi for being like this? Lu Wenwan looked at Yun Luoxi in a daze by herself. Hee hee, Baiming Yaohuo, this space is really full of treasures. At this moment, while Lu Wenwan was waiting, an old laughter suddenly sounded. Lu Wenwan's complexion changed slightly, and she looked towards the opposite side. I saw a hole on the opposite stone wall, and two people walked in. An old man with gray hair and a skinny face, and a young man in black who seemed to be in his early twenties. When seeing these two people, Lu Wenwan's eyes suddenly showed a bit of vigilance. Of course she didn't know these two people, but her intuition told her that the visitor was not good. It is rumored that the owner of this Baming Yaohuo is a close friend with the owner of Chenkin Sword Art in ancient times. The old man's old voice sounded again. Later, the master of Baming Yaohuo fell, and Baming Yaohuo turned into 99 and 81 fires and scattered in the world. I didn't expect that there is a fire hidden in this ancient tomb. Boy, this place is not in vain. Compared to the Chenkin Sword Art, the most valuable thing in the entire ancient tomb is this little fire. While speaking, the old man glanced at the young man in black beside him. The young man in black also had a smile on his face. His eyes were now on Yun Luoxi who was sitting cross-legged on the stone platform below. Looking at the snow-white shadow like a fairy. It is rumored that the saintess of the Lingxu sect is a stunning fairy, seeing her today, she really deserves her reputation. The young man smiled faintly, then turned his gaze to Lu Wenwan, clasped his fists and said, My junior, Qin Ku, has met the sect master of Lingxu. On the other side, Lu Wenwan was expressionless, do you recognize me? Since this junior has traveled to the Yuanyang continent, of course he knows something about the top experts in this continent. The young man in black named Chin Ku smiled lightly, then stretched out his hand and said, This is the teacher of the family, Fen Yantian, the suzerain must have heard of it. As soon as these words came out, Lu Wenwan's complexion changed slightly. Fen Yantian, of course she had heard about it. This old thing is a top powerhouse from another continent. He was once in existence at the peak of the divine origin realm. Later, 
due to some reasons, his strength fell to the middle stage of Shenyuan realm. A strong person in the divine origin realm, of course, is nothing special if you look at the whole world. But this Fen Yantian has been heard of by many people. Because he is a notorious robber. Rumor has it that he has a disciple. He took his disciples to travel and experience, and whenever he came across any good things, he would never use formal means to get them if he could snatch them. Many people have been harmed by this master and apprentice. Rape and robbery, the master and apprentice have done all sorts of bad things. Didn't expect to meet this villain master and apprentice here today. Now it will be troublesome. Sensing the expression on Lu Wenwan's face, Chin Ku's mouth twitched into a sneer. Of course his reputation is not great, he is just an existence in the earth spirit realm. The strength may not even be as good as Yun Luoxi. But his master is notoriously strong. In many cases, as long as he reported his master's name, he could save a lot of trouble. For example, without robbing, the other party may directly give him the benefits. To survive in such a world, the weak prey on the strong. What are the benefits of traveling around the world? Of course, if you can rob and steal, there is no need to reason. It is the most correct way to get what you want in the fastest and most direct way. Therefore, the two masters and apprentices are indeed notorious. But they don't care, as long as they can get what they want, as long as they can become stronger. Who cares about frivolous fame? Those things, when they stand at the real peak one day, don't they have the final say? Hee <laughs> hee, so it's you two who have admired your name for a long time. Lu Wenwan continued with a hee hee. But my heart became more and more vigilant. It is a real experience for others to travel around the world. But the master and apprentice traveled all over the world, but they burned, killed and looted. If I met them today, I'm afraid I won't be able to get this ball of fire. Have heard of your name for a long time. Hee <laughs> hee. Fen Yantian's old voice sounded again. Since the suzerain also recognizes the old man, then. Dot the old man doesn't need to say too much. This disciple of the old man is not far from the Tianxuan mirror, the sub-fire of the white demon fire below, this old man disciple, want it. As soon as these words came out, Lu Wenwan's expression did not change much. Sure enough, these two guys are here to grab something. First come, first served, the two of you are doing this. I'm afraid it's inappropriate, Lu Wenwan immediately said in a deep voice. Although that old thing is in the middle stage of the divine origin realm, she is still in the early stage of the divine origin realm. It is not without strength to fight back. Hee <laughs> hee, it's really wrong. Chin Ku chuckled, and continued, but what's inappropriate, doesn't it have to be done? Hearing this, Lu Wenwan was speechless. It is of course impossible to reason with the master and apprentice. Sect Master Lu, of course you don't have to agree. Fen Yantian's old voice then sounded. It's just. Dot you and I are both in the Shenyuan realm, if we fight in this place, your disciple who is refining Zaihuo. I'm afraid it will be affected. The flames turned back and burned her to ashes. As soon as these words came out, Lu Wenwan's heart trembled violently. Of course she couldn't let this happen. Of course it's impossible for Yun Luoxi to have anything happen to her. Before Yun Luoxi was attacked by Ling Shui when she was retreating, she was already very sorry for Yun Luoxi. If Yun Luoxi had an accident even though she was there now, she would really feel guilty for the rest of her life. So, really can't fight in this place. The bad thing is that she can't call anyone in this place. If she was outside, she would bring many experts from the Lingshu sect to burn Yantian, and she would not be afraid at all. It was precisely because of this that the master and apprentice dared to rob her. Anyway, even if you offend her, if you leave here in the future, no one will be able to find anyone in the world. It's all about not getting in touch with each other forever. Of course, it's okay if the sect master of Lingshu doesn't give it. At this time, Chin Ku spoke again, as long as the suzerain promises me one thing. Of course, Lu Wenwan didn't directly agree, nor did she directly refuse. Instead, I plan to listen to his conditions first. Chin Ku looked at Lu Wenwan, then smiled and said, The suzerain is beautiful and charming, but there is no man by his side. Isn't it lonely, if the suzerain is willing to have a spring festival with the junior? Shut up! Lu Wenwan's angry voice directly interrupted Chin Chi's words. How could this beast meet such conditions? This is naked humiliation. 
how could she endure such humiliation as the majestic master of the Lingxu sect? He he, of course the suzerain can refuse. Qin Ku still sneered, but the suzerain should be very clear that in this ancient tomb, you are alone and helpless. If you want to act forcefully, you have no chance of winning. We could have resolved the issue peacefully, but if the suzerain insists on opposing it, of course we can only rely on our own abilities. It's just, I'm afraid not only the suzerain will submit to me in the end, but even your saintly beloved disciple, will suffer together with you. Hee <laughs> hee, I have never experienced such a thing as the master and apprentice going up and down. Hiss, thinking about it this way, it seems that it is better for us to do it directly. While speaking, Qin Ku and Fen Yantian looked at each other. There was that undisguised lecherous expression on his face. Lu Wenwan, who was on the opposite side, felt nauseous. In fact, from the very beginning, she knew very well that all the conditions for meeting this master and apprentice were false. In fact, the two of them planned to force their hands from the very beginning. Pretending to be reasonable is just playing with her. They met in this kind of place, there was no way they would let her and young Luoxi go. Since that's the case, master, you can do it. I don't want to let these two beauties, big and small, beauties. Chin Chu then sneered. You kid, you've been thinking about those nasty things all day long. Anyway, if you're not a young man, why would you be my disciple? Fen Yantian also smiled and did not object. He is extremely conniving to his disciple. Because he used to be like that too. After all, above Fen Yantian's old and thin body, there was a burst of grey spiritual flame rising up. He had to get the Baiming Yahuo for his disciple. Lu Wenwan and Yun Luoxi, he also had to get them for his disciples. On the opposite side, Lu Wenwan had a stern face, and glanced at Yun Luoxi, who was cross-legged and closed-eyed below. Now, there is really no other way. In short, no matter what happens, she will stand in front of Yun Luoxi. Even if it is death. But at this moment, before Lu Wenwan and Fen Yantian on the opposite side had time to make a move. Suddenly, a cold voice sounded slowly. Even this kind of wife is something you like, but I really admire your taste. There was an indescribable majesty in this voice. An indescribable dignity. This sudden voice made the complexions of Lu Wenwan and Fen Yantian's master and apprentice on the opposite side change. The three of them turned their eyes at the same time, looking at another cave entrance. I saw there, at some point, there were already three figures standing there. One man and two women. It was Ling Shui who brought Xiao Shangyu and Yu Yao Yao, the demon lord of the demon sect. When seeing Ling Shui, both Qin Ku and Fen Yantian's expressions changed at the same time. The new demon master of this demon sect suddenly appeared here. Lu Wenwan was also surprised, and then secretly pleased. Wouldn't it be safe if Ling Shui was willing to help? Immediately afterwards, she reacted all of a sudden. Wait, what did Ling Shui mean by the old woman? Who is he talking about? Lu Wenwan frowned, subconsciously scanning the entire sea of magma and flames. Who is the wife? Of course it wasn't Yun Luoxi, nor was it Yu Yaoyao and Xiao Shangyu who were beside Ling Shui. Who else could it be? It's me, what the hell am I? Lu Wenwan's chest heaved violently, and she clenched her fist subconsciously. Wife, you said my wife is a wife. You, you are the wife, and your whole family is a wife. My old lady, so old. Lu Wenwan stared angrily at Ling Shui above, wishing she could rush up and tear his mouth open right now. But of course she didn't really do anything, and she didn't even dare to say a word to make Ling Shui unhappy. Because the only one who can help her and Yun Luoxi right now is Ling Shui. Under her angry gaze, Ling Shui took a step forward. Stepping on the air with the soles of his feet, he walked slowly towards Qin Qi and Fen Yantian, step by step. Seeing Ling Shui approaching, Qin Qi and Fen Yantian subconsciously took half a step back. Ling Shui seemed to have an invisible aura, which suppressed the master and apprentice who were arrogant before, and even looked a little cowering at this moment. The two masters and apprentices are well-known villains and are notorious. It is indeed domineering in many cases. But they are very clear that compared with the magic gate, they are of course incomparable. It's like, the difference between a punk and a mafia boss. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.